Okay, wow, I think we're live. What is going on? What is up, guys? Uh, just went live. Sorry I'm a few minutes late, y'all. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Hi, my name is Corey. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the live stream. Um, make sure you guys click the cogwheel, change it to 1080p. Um, I see some people typing into, I see a lot of hearts. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Good morning, good morning. It is a Monday morning here in uh, Tokyo. Monday morning. Um, I can't, uh, it's, chat's moving so fast. Uh, Barla is the first person that I see. Uh, Pilot Girl, how you doing? Rupesh, Liz Topher, Generic Blue Ninja, A. Azarov, oh, sorry, O. Azarov, uh, Michael Tada, Jimothy, good morning, Sin Petals, Sontag, how's it, how's it? Carlitos is like, oh my god, uh, Rupesh, Chris, uh, Sasha Sasha says you got a big giant dono did I uh, if it's before I went live I can't see it <laughs> I'm so sorry I don't know who it was from or what it was um, I'm trying to yeah there's no note if, if, if it happened before I'm live I, I, I can't see it um, Nancy good morning how are you Nick teacher on young uh, Dante how are you doing Kakigori good morning Vin Vin says Sontag just donated $200 oh my god Sontag, why? <laughs> you did that just the other day. Oh my God, thank you guys. Hearts in chat, hearts in chat for Sontag. Thank you so much. You, you, you didn't have to do that again. You did that last Thursday. Thank you so much, that really means a lot. Um, Cathartica, good morning. Margaret K, how are you? Sandra C, Ali, Rachel, uh, Sid Pernicious. Uh, I'm sorry guys, if, if I miss any of y'all saying hello and goodbye and you know asking questions and leaving comments and stuff, I'm so sorry. It's chat's just going a million miles an hour right now. Uh, guys, hearts in chat, my mom is in there. Kijame, hi mom, how you doing? My face is red. Yeah, it's really, really hot. Uh, I'm, I'm sweating, like my, my forearms are like dripping in sweat. Garrett, aloha, Tetrisium, how are you doing? Danny, hello, hello. Inga, good morning. Uh, Gerard, Pamela, I see you. Panic, what are you doing awake, man? I thought you were going to sleep. Uh, Blue Harrington, how are you guys? So I, I'm so sorry, guys. I was a little bit late. Um, we were having some issues um, with uh, the stabilizer and stuff like that. So just had to had to take care of some technical stuff. Uh, Nissan, how you doing? Kelsey, what's up? Long time no see. Ringo, good morning, good morning. So what are we doing, guys? Uh, we were listening to sirens running in the background because uh, apparently there was a bicycle, bicyclist, cyclist, was hit by a bus um, earlier. I think they're okay though, but uh, I was near there and I saw it. <laughs> I didn't see the actual accident, but I heard it. And then I went over there and then immediately, like it was right in front of the police box. So police were like already there. Um, they're okay. Uh, it was weird though. The police were like, instead of, how can I say, the, the paramedics that arrived really fast, they were um, checking out the person. But meanwhile, the police were using measuring tape and they're like measuring the bicycle, <laughs> like how high the seat is and how big the wheel is. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, Gregory Lawson, how you doing? Uh, you stayed at an APA hotel just uh, up the street from the station, nice. Yeah, Sontag, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a really nice weekend. Thank you so much. You've been such a huge, huge, huge supporter of this channel. Um, financially, you keep this, uh, <laughs> this stream going. You're going to make an isekai joke? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, guys, uh, it's, a, it's a hot one. So I hope you guys have some drinks, some snacks. And uh, Ringo, you are Sayori. Okay, okay, you changed your name. Um, I hope you guys have some drinks and snacks. We're gonna be walking around um, in advance. I do apologize if there's some buffering issues, you know, depending on like where we're walking, there might be some low signal. You guys know the routine. I'm gonna turn this around. Let's start the walk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Louis Lang says, uh, I miss Sugamo. I stayed there our last couple visits. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm actually right outside of uh, Sugamo station. This is, uh, is this Toshima War? Oh, no, I don't know. Anyways, we are um, in Sugamo Station. It's a few stations away from Ikebukuro. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go, Sontag, let's go. Uh, Rupesh says, it's my first time to follow you from the starting of the stream. Nice. Well, welcome, welcome. This is how it always starts. <laughs> so Sugamo, um, yeah. 
Where? Oh, it is Toshima. Yeah, this is Toshima City. Toshima Ku. Oh, Toshima Ward of Tokyo. And it is a hot one, guys. It is hot. It is really, really, really hot. Is this a three-hour video? Michael, it depends on um, the heat. It depends on if my phone overheats in this crazy weather. It depends on uh, just how hot it is. You know, I might end it earlier. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do three. Three hours, as usual. It's always three, unless something happens, or I have an appointment or something like that. But let's go. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, it's already like 30 something, something degrees. It feels insanely hot, but there is a nice breeze. Uh, there's this covered kind of uh, sidewalk here. They've got all the solar panels, which is pretty cool. And they've got all of these decorations for Tanabata. This is the Tanabata decorations here, uh, including for the flag here, uh, these drawings. So if you guys don't know what Tanabata is, uh, Tanabata is a yearly um, holiday. And um, it's based off uh, two lovers, like a guy and a girl, and they're in, you know, living in the heavens. And the mill between them, so they can't really see each other except for one day of the year. And that's on the seventh day of the seventh month. So that's July 7th and it's called Tanabata. So uh, they hang these um, interesting decorations from everywhere. And this is pretty cool. They have the mist, mist pipes running on the top to keep this area cool. Good morning, Lick, how are you doing? We'll keep our eyes out for uh, JDM, I promise. JDM cars. Uh, Kathy3, how you doing? Yeah, so... Yeah, you can see uh, pretty colorful decorations. Um, if you guys want to see some like absolutely insane decorations, uh, I highly recommend you to Google uh, Sendai Tanabata. Sendai has the most famous decorations. Um, they're, they're absolutely huge. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, how you doing? I uh, love this experience you have with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ringo says, Corey, uh, what's up, Sayori? What's up? Hey, uh, all. Azarov says, here in my city in Brazil, there is Tanabata. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, there was no Tanabata. Ah, yeah. I feel ya. Uh, pandemic sucks. Uh, Vin Vin says, oh, same, the Chinese Lover Day. Yeah, that's, ex it's, a, it's a or something like that. Um, so, yeah, like, if you look at some of the drawings, these are like children's drawings. It's kind of hard to see right now. But there's like the, the oh, Milky Way in the middle, and I don't see the lovers on the sides, but yeah, they'll usually draw like the Milky Way and then the two lovers. Uh, here's a, a very clear one up here. The man says, good morning and stay super hydrated. Yes, guys, please, everybody. Here, so you can see the drawing, there's uh, the Milky Way in the middle, and there's the guy, and there's the girl on the other side, and they can't reach each other. Robert Wallace, how you doing? Good morning. Oh, Sayori, you moved to the States. Really? When did that happen? I <laughs> uh, hope everything's going well. So anyways, uh, guys, we're going to be walking from Sugamo all the way to Itabashi. And we're going to be taking the Nakasendo Road. And so that actually was uh, the old road leading in and out of uh, Edo-era Tokyo. Back then, you know, it was just called Edo. And there was like five main roads branching out across Japan. And one of the main ones, Nakasendo, uh, ran right through here. So we'll, we'll be walking along some of it. Um, the road itself goes all the way to Kyoto. So um, I think you could still actually walk that trail. There's several different trails to Kyoto and beyond, but uh, I think Nakasendo is one of them. So yeah, uh, Becca says, oh, I missed that place. <laughs> Sherry, good morning, how you doing? Yeah, so it's a hot one, guys. It's a hot one. Yeah, it's a long road. I think it's like 500 or 600 kilometers. Um, and so back in the day, uh, Nihon, like, you know, the center of Tokyo, well, Edo, was, uh, you know, around the palace, like Nihonbashi area. So the road started at Nihonbashi and then um, coming all the way over here. This was like kind of the first rest stop along the way. 
So they had a lot of you know restaurants and like inns and stuff for people to like rest and you know spend the night. And then uh, over time, yeah, they started moving some shrines and temples into the area as well, since they knew it was like a very famous rest stop area for people walking from you know uh, traveling from you know Edo to Kyoto. And uh, yeah, so then Sugamo just kind of became a town, and here it is now. So it's got some pretty cool history. Uh, Jim and Harriet, good morning. Yeah, so they are, they've got the misters running, guys. It is, it is really, really humid today. I mean, like, my balls are stuck to my leg. That, that level of humidity, um, it's, it's just hot. It's so hot. Uh, Cat Zoos, how you doing? Good morning. Jesse Lee, you got your snacks? Hell yeah, let's go. Ash says, uh, was that the 100 yen store? Uh, there's quite a, yeah, there is a, there is a 100 yen shop right here. There's one of them. There's so many different types of 100 yen stores, including Daiso. Uh, Rupesh says, I wonder how you walk three hours. It's very hard for me. Great, uh, Corey, great work. Yeah, I mean, just walking is, like, I like walking, so three hours goes by easily, no problem. You want a happy meal? All right, son, I'll get you a happy meal. What toy do you want? Um, oh man, they're doing construction right next to this temple that I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, hopefully my phone doesn't overheat. It's hot, so we'll see, we'll see. Oh my God, it is loud. Okay, I just want to show you this one Jizo statue here. Oh man. Yo, fungus in the house, what's up? Merry Christmas, how are you? Totally Drew in the house, what's up man? How you doing? Yeah, so we got a pretty neat big uh, Jizo here. Oof, yeah. oh, standing in the shade is so nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, so they've got a, a really, really large uh, statue here. Looks like bronze or something, <clears throat> excuse me. But this is a Jizo Bosatsu statue here. And uh, this is, I think, a, it's a, a, what do you call it? Like a cultural asset of Tokyo. They're really cool. Yeah, they got the incense burning here. What's up, Silver? How you doing? Oh, there's a, a statue right here, too. Yeah, very beautiful. Yep. Bring the fan. I'll just kind of fan that towards myself. Fan it towards chat. For you, chat. Yeah, Drew says, uh, what did Drew say? Uh, did Fusa and Yokota Air Base on Saturday was hoping you were around. Oh no, I work Saturdays, man. <laughs> I was in Ikebukuro working all day. All day. That's cool though, Yokota. I haven't been there in a long time. My family used to do Space A flights out of Yokota Air Base. Like when we would fly to Korea, yeah, we would take Space A um, flying on like the C-130, uh, C-131s. I forget what else, C-141s. C-130s, C-141s, I forget. It was all military cargo planes. Uh, Merry Christmas says, Corey, I got a Drew a wireless phone cooler. Look into it, though he never uses it. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. A phone cooler. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's, it's a hot one, so, you know, phones do overheat. It's, you know, I, I, I remember like last summer or two summers ago, I was just trying to stream and the phone died because it, it overheated so much. So I'm, I'm afraid like that might happen today. I actually brought an umbrella. Um, it's not UV protected or anything, but I think it'll still provide some shade. But uh, this is the entrance here to the uh, Sugamo uh, Jizodori. This is um, the beginning of, I guess, like where we're gonna be streaming today. We're gonna be just following this thing all the way over to Itabashi. Ah, oh, so I'm standing in the shade right now. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Uh, C-130, C-141, and C-5. Yeah, I don't think my family ever flew on the C-5, though. 
Um, but definitely the C-141s, uh, where the seats are backwards, the C C-130s, there's like cargo net seating, and you have to use blankets because there's like no insulation. Um, the restroom is actually just a shared little like shower thing with a shower curtain. Um, yeah, it's fun flying military space, hey? <laughs> but it's free. So yeah, um, what can I say about this area? It's very old, you know. Um, there's a, a shrine that we'll be checking out. And uh, this area is very famous for like elderly shopping. Um, I believe they call this place the Obatan no Harajuku or Obatan no Shibuya. Old ladies, uh, Shibuya. So, you know, a lot of the young people love to go to Harajuku and Shibuya for fashion um, shopping. But here, this is geared towards the elderly. So, um, you'll see a lot of elderly clothing shops and, you know, just like things that old people like. Yo, Katsu's with the one pound? Is that what that is? <laughs> thank you so much. Hearts in chat for Katsu's. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and so they got some pretty neat stuff. There's a lot of different vendors along the way that sell like snacks and um, like, I don't even know, accessories, souvenirs, <laughs> decorations, all kinds of stuff. Merry Christmas says, oh, so it's the best place for Drew to shop. <laughs> oh, man. Well, and me, Obasans, uh, know where the good deals are. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try to stick to the shade as much as possible because I can already feel my neck burning. I might have to actually pull out my umbrella. Um, yeah, so it's very chill right now. On the weekend, this place with old people. I should clarify, packed with old people. Yeah, and um, I think there's one famous food that they have here. It's, uh, well, not one, but one of the many is the uh, shio dorayaki. Or, no, is it shio dorayaki? No, no, it's a uh, shio daifuku. Sorry, sorry. It's like salted uh, daifuku with a strawberry in the middle. It's this one here. Shio daifuku. So it's it's like a daifuku. It's like a mochi ball with a red bean, and then um, they add a little salt to kind of offset the sweet flavor. So I don't know if I'm gonna have that today because I, I I'm just like I, I already ate because I had to take my medicine, and uh, also it's just really hot. <laughs> I don't feel like eating right now. I don't have an appetite. Very few cars. This is a it's like a shopping street. There's really no reason for cars to be coming through here unless they like kind of live or work around here. Um, the main road is parallel to this street, so everyone's driving over there. Yeah, and so um, some of these stores with the old ladies' clothes and stuff, they'll sell like red underwear, red bras and red underwear. If you guys don't know, in Asian culture, Chinese, Korean and Japanese, um, the age 60 is super important um, with the way the calendar works, like the Chinese calendar. Um, you know, you, you start your life at like zero and then it goes all the way around to 60. 60 makes one full rotation around the, the Chinese calendar. And so when you reach 60, it's kind of like rebirth, basically. And so uh, some of these shops, they will sell red to symbolize, uh, well, people who turn 60 wear red. So it's kind of like a good luck thing, good health thing. What is your definition of old? Uh, I'm talking like senior citizens. Senior citizens, like 60, 60 and older. Although I know like, you know, old is subjective, but we're, we're going by like what the government basically, these stores are like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, the main shrine here main shrine. So we're gonna go check it out. It's pretty neat. Don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, I will be hydrating um, as soon as we leave this uh, property. Yeah, this is, uh, there's a cool thing here. Yeah, I can fan this towards chat.
Yeah, so there's the main building. Um, I'm not going to go up and film inside. I, obviously, you can't film inside, but uh, I can see people praying and stuff in there, so I'm not going to do that. But there's uh, the most famous thing is actually here to the left, and uh, they even set up these bars so people can line up to do this. But they have a, a, a statue here that um, supposedly a samurai's wife, I think like cleaned it and then um, she was healed of all ail ailments so people come here with rags and other things and then they'll use this water and they'll wa wash wash the statue and like if you have an ailment like on your arm you'll wash the arm um, you know if you have head problem like you know m something with your head or neck then you rub the neck so it's pretty cool um, yeah uh, is my screen my phone feel oh whoa 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 what's going on here? Okay, sorry, I was I was checking my phone. I can feel my phone screen like really hot. But yeah, anyways, so I don't have a rag or anything like that to do that, but uh I've seen people come here, they dip the rag and then they wash it and stuff. So it's kinda cool. The water's not boiling, it's uh it's dripping out of this uh, thing here. Yeah, so it's pretty neat. There's a lot of these kinds of things in uh different shrines or temples where you know uh there's a statue and depending on like what you want like which part of your body you want healed you'll do something to it like either rub it or put like gold leaf on it um or like in this case you'll you'll wipe it down with a wet uh towel yeah this 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 thing must have i don't know how many millimeters of stone has been like eroded away from people rubbing it constantly um, but yeah i'm surprised there's nobody here doing this. I guess because it's a Monday, everyone's like kind of off to work, but um, there's another kind of thing over here, Jizo, with all the little baby, uh, what do you call it, bibs and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, well, let's... And it is hot, guys, it is hot. I'm going to just head out the side door here. The Fountain of Youth. Yeah, don't forget to give the, the the thumbs up button. And uh, of course, it helps me out a lot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my, you know, I worked Saturday all day. It was exhausting. Um, Sunday, yesterday, um, it was pretty chill. It was nice. And uh, yeah, I, I had a good time. Um, oh, I see a dog coming. There's a dog. Okay, so yeah, we're doing the dog count and cat count as always. So we've got our first dog of the stream right here coming up. A little, little hot boy. <laughs> Looks like a chihuahua mix. It's kind of a chihuahua mix. Yeah, um, whew. I'm gonna need a drink here in a second. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, or like I say at the beginning of every stream, if I miss your comments or questions, I'm sorry. There's like, a, there's like 200 people chatting at the same time. Um, I'm sorry, you, you're gonna have to just uh, chill out. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, like just, I don't mean to miss your questions or that many. Chihuahua mix. A sip of my matcha. Teas you can drink during really, really hot weather. Um, lagging? Okay, yeah, sorry. Wi-Fi. This is a hang tight. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. little local businesses and stuff you know like I said clothing and lots of clothing lots of old ladies clothing 
Siberian gal pal says, this is a real dog. Yay. Um, yeah, food and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's a hot one, guys. But yeah, this place uh, has free Wi-Fi and stuff. They've got these uh, light poles right here. They've got some speakers that sometimes play music. I think we can hear some playing right now. Yeah, the speaker's playing something right now. Yeah, and then uh, they've got a map of the local area of the street. So we're actually on this street right here, on this, the one that's going left. This is the main street where the car, uh, most of the cars drive. Is my phone melting? No, I hope not. Yeah, so some of these poles have like some pretty cool historic information about the street and stuff, since it is uh, very, very old. Um, there's actually a very famous um, Ebi Fry. This is like a tempura shrimp place right here. This place is amazing. I highly recommend eating here. It's very, very delicious. Uh, I do not have my umbrella. I probably should take that out in like, in just a minute. Uh, let me cross over here. Yeah. Um, the weather, wait, what? The weather says Matsudo is 91 degrees. Yeah, it's really hot. And plus with the heat index, it's probably over 100. Um, but I'm in Sugamo, so this is not, yeah, Matsudo. Is Pokemon bread a thing in Japan these days? Here in Korea, kids are going crazy for these days. Um, like you can get like Pokemon, like breaded snacks in like Tokyo Station and stuff and whatever, but it's not like a thing, you know, like, you, I mean, Pokemon's everywhere. <laughs> don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Pokemon products everywhere, but Pokemon bread specifically, I, I don't think that's like some kind of like trendy thing right now. Yeah, I will be careful, mom. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the mascot for this street is this duck, and his name is Sugamon. Sugamon. I don't know where, why they chose a duck, but um, that is the character of this street, this area. Yeah, oh, Sayori's leaving? Okay, bye. I don't know. Okay, well, anyways. Um, yeah, so looking around here, let me just kind of see, let me just stop in the middle of all this and take a look. We've got a kind of a, what do you call it? Old lady shop, I guess. It's got, there's like elderly's, uh, elderly women's clothing and canes and sun protection type of stuff that old women love wearing here. Um, gloves. This is like an old woman's wet dream. Yeah. So lots and lots of stuff that like my grandmother would wear. Um, for a really good price too. Very reasonable. Uh, Tim Jimothy says, were there any repercussions uh, from the ice cream the other day? Uh, no, no repercussions. Umbrella up for your skin protection. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that right now. Let me do that. Let me stand in this shade right here real quick. Because it is a hot one, guys. It is just like the sun is baking. Hyundai Sonata, how are you doing? Uh, do they have e-bikes there? Oh yeah, definitely. I think the, the majority of these kind of mamacharis that you see, the, the, like a lot of them are e-bikes. Like here comes one right now that's going to pass by. This is the most common bike you'll see. The ones that the, a, a lot of housewives and stuff ride around and it has like the basket thing in the back for the kid, the little child seat. Uh, Lick says, you ever drink ramen before, Corey? Oh yeah, I'm from Japan, man. <laughs> I'm from here. I have, I, I grew up drinking ramen. Um, definitely, definitely. Maggie Ross, good morning. Good morning. Okay, sorry, I've got a little folding umbrella. This is new. This is my first time using it, so let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, does it work? 
All right, so it's, it's kind of small because it's a folding one, but uh, hopefully this helps us with the shade. Yeah. It would be funny as soon as I pull this out, then it's like cloudy. Oh, great. Yeah, it is cloudy. What? <laughs> the sun's behind the cloud. It's okay. We'll, we'll just use it anyways. Uh, did the UV umbrellas work well? Yes, they do actually, um, which is really nice. It's the same as like those UV sun, uh, sunshades that we were talking about on Discord for your balcony and stuff. It, it actually does block, uh, you know, obviously there's reflected UV rays coming off of all the other surfaces, but you know, you can do, do what you gotta do. It actually does help. Um, ah, yeah, here's the local post office. And there's the character, Su Sugamon. Little duck guy. Little duck. Katsus, you're out of here. Take care. Rupesh also, take care. See you, see you. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah. Um, ooh. I feel like it's been a rough start to the stream just because I'm a little late and I don't know. Maybe it's the heat. Or is it all my imagination? Yeah, so... Uh, can you imagine though, like walking this back in the day, like in the summer and you're like leaving Edo and you have to walk all the way to Kyoto and that's rough. That's rough. Uh, we've got a, a Pikachu vending machine. Pikachu. Yeah, but this is by Itoen. Um, so it's just got a bunch of Itoen products. Of course, the Oi Ocha tea in the top left corner that's uh, world famous stream is going good nice Nick thank you Liz Topher says it's all good nice nice uh, Merry Christmas says you're dreaming right now Corey wake up and go start the stream oh my god I'm late ah ah <laughs> yeah okay Gregory thank you yeah thank you guys for the the reassurance yeah there's just some days that are like they feel like off days you know what I mean and I think like this morning feels like one of those days. It's just kind of off, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm ready, ready and willing. Um, is Sasha here? Is Sasha in the chat right now? Sasha, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? The reason I'm asking is because uh, I found your, your friends. The Whistle Stop Shop. These are, I believe, they're from Tokyo D Disney Sea characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I believe these are from uh, Disney Sea, not Disneyland, Disney Sea. But um, yeah, look, it, look, in my B Boy stance all alone. <laughs> I forgot their names. That's scary. Why? What? Why, why is that scary? <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. You know what's really interesting over here actually is oh god, this car just pulling over right next to me. What the hell, dude? Um. There's this uh, kind of little small tiny museum here, but uh, there's something in here that I want to show you. It is a uh, Sugamon no Oshiri. It's, it's the Sugamon character's butt. The duck butt. Look like furry versions of precious moments. Oh no. So yeah, Sugamon no Oshiri. It's Sugamon's butt. There it is. Duck butt. It's actually fuzzy too. <laughs> it looks like a like a breast, but what? Why is this a thing here? I don't know. Yeah, this is the old lady corner. But um, why is this a thing? Like, why is the duck's butt like a thing that's being celebrated? <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't know. Oh, this van is an elderly pickup van. Okay. Well, they nearly ran me over, pulling over to the side. That's pretty neat. Little statue there. 
rub the butt. No, I'm not gonna touch the butt. It's like COVID butt. Um, I don't know, it's, it's so hot, I don't wanna touch something furry. Furry or fuzzy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, if it's a dog, I'll definitely pet the dog. But uh, yeah, fuzzy duck butt, mm, I'm okay. My hand's kind of sweaty. Rubbing butts is good luck, is it? Is that a thing? Rubbing duck butts is good luck? Because they have the cute like little tail wag. They're like, like wag their tail really quickly. That's always fun. Uh, what is this place? Oh, it's a, it's a dog shop called Dog Amigo. <laughs> I can hear a dog barking inside. Arr! Michelle, how you doing? Tardis Rider, good morning. Uh, no, it's okay, yo. If 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 if, uh, if rubbing duck butts, uh, you know, floats your boat, by all means, I will build a raft for you, so you can do that. I will support your kink. You are so funny, Corey. I'm, am, am I? I'm not. I'm not funny. I'm just talking, talking trash, as usual. Um, my God, it is hot. Thank God for this umbrella. Uh, I've got a nice flower shop right here. It's nothing. Tracy Levy, long time no see. Yeah, you made the live. Woo 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 woo. Uh, does the bark count as a dog? I mean, it is a real dog, but we didn't see it though. That's the unfortunate thing. So, so far, uh, Inu count is one, Neko count is zero. Still, I don't know, like, uh, will we even see a cat out in this hot weather? There's like no wind. It is, like, I can see this little red flag thing is moving, but I don't feel any wind whatsoever. Um, Silver says, my mom came to my booth at Pride yesterday with a bag of uh, Beggin Strip dog treats. She thought it was funny. Oh. Yeah, so, um, what else can I say? I don't know. Uh, it's a very old road. A lot of businesses all along this area. And it, this is, we're gonna just be on this one road all the way. Like, it, it goes pretty far. But uh, the shopping area itself kind of ends right here, but then there's like multiple shopping areas up ahead. So, uh, what is this? It's kind of a strange looking store. Oh, they've got all kinds of weird... Is this like one of those like quote-unquote like ethnic stores? Yeah, they just got like a bunch of random stuff from like different cultures. Hydrate? Yeah, I'm gonna have to hydrate like every few minutes. Um, I feel like I need to do that again soon. It was a leather pride. <laughs> the leather pride. <laughs> nice. Lorraine, how you doing? Oof. Man, where's the wind? It was windy yesterday. It felt really nice. Yeah, so we're, we're, we've reached the end of this shopping street here, but the road continues all the way down. Like, like trust me, we're, we're just gonna be on this one road for most of the time. Mary Jane, Ohio, Zaymas. Rebecca, hello. Is that kid crying? I thought I heard a kid crying, yeah. Um, there's a little tiny uh, shrine over here. Off to the side. Gotta keep it moist, right? Uh, Lick, did you miss something? Not yet. Um, but we are now arriving. Hopefully the signal's okay in here. Probably not. But they've got monkey, monkey garden statue. Yeah, that was uh, the first of several shopping streets that we're going to be coming across um, here. So there's like a little, little tiny shrine up inside of here. And so, yeah, uh, hmm. that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, what else is around here? I'm not sure. It's a yokai crying? Oh my god. All right, Tony. That's cool. That's nice that she's trying her best to be an ally. 
she's like, oh, I, I like your leather outfit. <laughs> like, here's some cupcakes. Like, have a nice day. Like, that's great. That's an awesome mom. The monkeys from Wizard of Oz, it looked like, yeah, her little flying henchmen. It reminds you of Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, the dog hates you. Uh, that dog say, uh, says, uh, apparently it would take only four days to walk to Kyoto from here. Yeah, um, if you do it like consecutively, like nonstop, you, you, you push all day, all night, like, you know, all day, all afternoon, and then you sleep at night, and then you do it again the next day. Yeah, it would, it would take you roughly four or five days to walk. I have a friend here that actually uh, does these kinds of walks all the time, like every year. He does a, a from, sea, from the sea to the peak of Mount Fuji. He does it like once or twice a year. Um, oh, we've got a ding ding, ding ding train crossing. This is the Arakawa Tonden line, uh, the Sakura tram. We've actually seen this, uh, I think in the last stream. But it's like a little trolley line here. Booster says buenas noches from uh, Chile. Hi, hi, hi. Cat Oliver, hello. We've got the ding ding. Oh my God, it is hot guys. I am like sweating. Uh, Lee says, uh, a number of English signs. Is that rare? No, definitely not rare. Why are you honking at me, buddy? <laughs> it's definitely not rare. Um, you know, um, like after World War II, American forces occupied Japan until the mid-50s. And during that time, a lot of legislation was passed where, uh, you know, English was kind of forced to be taught in schools and stuff. And um, American base, or like American presence has been here since then um, so you know there's a lot of air force bases navy bases and stuff here and um, you know pop culture in the 70s and 80s um, you know coca-cola levi jeans like all that stuff it just took over so yeah that's why you see a lot of stuff in english and that's why you see a lot of american brands and other things even if the english doesn't make sense um, they still use a lot of english here and it's easy to come and visit because there's you know like the trains and stuff Everything's in English, so it's easy to like commute around. You don't have to like worry about really getting lost. You fully yell to the train driver, stay moist. Stay moist. Digital fanboy, how you doing? Should have honked back at them. Well, I stared right at him. He honked right at me. I wasn't even in the road. Like, why did he honk at me? Of all people, he honked at me, so. Whatever. Yeah, I should carry like a, a, a Le Cucaracha horn. You know, some of those uh, like lowrider cars, they'll insto install like custom horn sounds. Like really loud. <laughs> I should have that on me at all times. Um, ooh, there's a unagi shop here. They sell fish and eel, specifically unagi eel but they're not open right now. But they do the grilling. I can see the grill right there. Nice. Honk if you're moist. That's actually a, a cool sticker, I think. Um, let me, whoa, let me zoom in down the street so you guys can see how far this one goes. Yeah, so this, this goes pretty far up there. Um, the road eventually gets dissected or whatever by a, a major road. And then it continues for like we're we're going for a long time, guys. I don't know how long it's going to take to reach Itabashi, but um, it should be an interesting uh, walk. Run in, grab some, run away. I mean, if I was a criminal, I would. But I am not a criminal. Oh God, the wind is now blowing. It actually feels good. But the umbrella. Whew. Yeah, pretty cool view, huh? Yeah, I can imagine like, whoa, hold on one second. I saw an alley. What is this alley? Whoa, narrow alley. Wow, that's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna go down it, but just looking inside. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The old, 
old kind of Showa era house right there. Peter, how you doing? Uh, Panic says, you wearing a backpack? Must be lovely in this weather. No backpack. I'm wearing my side strap camera bag as usual, um, but no backpack. Uh, if I wore a backpack, my, my back would be completely sweaty. It would be really gross. There's the old Cory in his alleys. That's true. Very true. Um, yeah, it's a hot one. I'm actually wearing a... Uh, I'm wearing my slippers, slippers. Oh wait, can you see it? There we go. Yeah. It's too hot for socks and shoes, guys. <laughs> Robert says I'd get stuck. Yeah, I probably would get stuck if I used the umbrella in there, but otherwise I'd have to like squeeze in sideways. Uh, slow with the 35 Hong Kong dollars. Guys, let's get some hearts in chat for slow. Arigato gozaimasu. Says, hi, Corey, just wanted to pop in and say hi. Can't watch your live stream with my boss watching. Oh no. Uh, stay moist. Hey, thank you so much. Please stay moist as well. I really appreciate that. Guys, hearts and chat. Hearts and chat. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to read the chat here. Giving the free, uh, feet for free? Yeah, that's a, that's a preview. And then if you want to see more of my toenails, you got to go to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Where's the wind? It was windy yesterday. Now there's like no wind. It's so hot. Oh, can you hear the school bell? There's a school bell ringing. Must be between classes. It is, uh, what time is it? Oh, it's 1045. So yeah, oh no, sorry. It's a little after 1045. Okay, so, hmm. It's a very good reason not to go to his OnlyFans. True, you get debated be like $25 a month to see his dirty toenails. Oh my God. But you know, not trying to kink shame anybody. Uh, we've got a little local corner store. I love these types of little corner stores for drinks and snacks. You know, I used to come to these kinds of stores as a kid and buy like candy and gum. Uh, there's a pretty cool old house right across the street. The man says, donate via PayPal, buddies. <laughs> yeah, PayPal only takes out just a few, you know, like three, four percent, depending on which country you live in. Um, YouTube takes 30 percent, no matter which country you take in, uh, donate from. So uh, what is that? I see this uh, building here. Is that like a, a temple? There's something over there. Yeah, let's go check it out. Thirteen month emoji buddies. Woo! Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, if I if I had no no shame or anything, I I, I would probably already have a foot like OnlyFans thing. <laughs> Try to make some money, but I have my dignity. Um, oh my God, it is hot. Okay, whoa, what is this? Okay, we've got this big building here. I think it's something related with Buddhism. And they've got this tower back here. I wonder if we can take a look at it. Wow, it's kind of like a modern one too. Looks interesting. Gotta pay the bill somehow, right? And I'll take one for the team. I'll take a D in the A if someone gives me money. Um, Oh God, it is baking over here. Momo-chan, hello, hello. Yeah, this is pretty neat. It's like a modern, like pagoda, like multi-tiered pagoda. Um, it looks like you can go inside, but obviously we're not gonna go in there while streaming. Um, but they do have this uh, octopus character, this taco character. <laughs> He's really cute. Christine Kim, how are you doing? Good morning. One Angry Sandwich, what's up, dude? Um, and then there's a spider right here, dangling. Can you see the spider? <laughs> I think they call that a cucumber spider, if I remember correctly, because these are around my house. Um, anyways, 
Yeah, very cute. Yo, what's up, Ken from Santa Barbara? What's up? Yeah, so this is pretty neat. Um, it's kind of a modern style pagoda. Yeah, there's a little baby one too, I think. Um, okay, let's go out here. A thousand yen if you eat the spider? No, no. It, it needs to live. I, I uh, you know, I have to protect all forms of life, except murder hornets. Um, but you know, all forms of life deserve to to lead a, a life without dying. Does that make sense? <laughs> that makes that sounds so stupid. Live a life without dying. Uh, yeah, that's obviously what living means. Um, okay. Anyways. Kelsey says, everyone with arachnophobia crying in the club right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a little tiny guy. He's green, and I think they're called cucumber spiders. And they eat like aphids and other weird things in the, like, in the gardens and whatnot. So they're pretty cool. Cool by me. They eat mosquitoes too. What's my go-to type of normal flavor? I don't like adventuring away from like traditional flavors, really. Some uh, graffiti. Oh, Tokyo, so clean. It's immortality, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to drink something here. But uh, let's see, this way, if I took this road, it would actually go all the way down to uh, Shibuya and Shinjuku. Two hundred forty people watching. Oh, nice! Nice to know that. Hi, guys. Hope everyone's doing okay. If you didn't know, we're streaming in 1080p. So if you click the the resolution thing on the the video player, you can change it to 1080. Oh, I'm drinking. It's so good. You gotta stay hydrated. Um, is there an evil bear shop over there? What is that? Hold on one second. Gotta put my drink away. It's a lot of pee. It is. I was next to a, a semi truck and the guy threw it at me and it hit me in the head. And I was like, cool, free drink. Yeah, what is this? It's like a devil. Uh, oh, it's a fried chi fried chicken and chicken burger place, but they've got this evil bear with like a, a two end, like a double ended trident thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a scorcher, guys. It's a scorcher. Uh, here's a Chinese restaurant. They've got some pretty cool phoenixes out front on the window. I got a PayPal dono. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know who it's from. I can't see that because I don't get an alert. But I, I really appreciate that. Uh, who, who, who was it? <laughs> I don't know. Who was it from and how much? So I can say, excuse me, uh, so I can say thank you. John Sanford, how you doing? And here I didn't think you'd run across a bear. Yeah, we, uh, they sell like bear curry, bear meat inside of a curry, like canned curry. It's a thing up north. Tracy says, yes, I saved spiders and in the past had pet mice and rats. Not a fan of snakes, but would never harm them. Yeah, I hear you. It's from Gregory. Oh, Gregory says, it was me, Corey, for 50. Oh, man, thank you. You didn't have to do that. That's like $5 would have been enough. But thank you, guys. Hearts and chat for Gregory. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. Arigato gozaimasu. Um, yeah, y'all dropping like huge donos. It, like, you know, a couple dollars is fine. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like huge but I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys help buy my drinks and my train tickets and pay for my, you know, my data bill, my unlimited 5G for these streams to show you guys uh, Japan, what it looks like right now, live. Live Japan and live condom machine. Happy family life, high class condom, love Lynn. Audit and high ace. 500 yen for five pieces. 100 yen a condom. What is that? That's like 80 cents or something? 90 cents? Oh, thank you, Greg. Okay, yeah, you're taking into account the, the percentage of the cut. 
I appreciate that, man. Thank you. True panic. Yeah, the, the ultimate 5G that doesn't like to work indoors. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm not veering off on any of these side roads unless we see something like really spectacular, like when I look to the left or right. But uh, the main goal is to walk down this one street all the way to Itabashi because this is the, the old Nakasendo Road um, from the Edo period. Um, what is that building? Looks like a kind of cool Western style building. Well, it looks like a clothing shop. Huh. Weird. Yeah, if you want to know about donos, uh, type exclamation dono in the chat. Exclamation D-O-N-O. -O. And it, there should be a, a thing to tell you. If you were so inclined to be generous, um, thank you. But, oh my god. I think we're going to have to definitely get ice cream today, guys. What do you think? Are you guys down for ice cream? <laughs> I think I need ice cream. I need like an ice cup and... Um, and uh, ice cream. Does the, is the dono thing not working? It should work. Did it work? No? Is it donations or dono? I thought it was dono or donos. There was a command. Um, I don't know, y'all can play with it. Dono, donos, or donation. It's one of those three. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I don't remember which one it was. I should just make all three or four. All right, I guess it's not working, huh? Well, thanks. Thanks, Nightbot. Jason gave me $10 PayPal, ran off. Oh man, I didn't see that. Uh, hearts in chat for Jason. Hopefully he's rewatching this and sees that. Yeah, okay guys, I'm sorry. It looks like that donation command is not working, um, which is really weird because I did make one. But anyways, uh, there should be a PayPal link somewhere. Would you guys live around here? Private eyes, private investigator? I don't know. It's a peeping Tom store? I have no idea. Donuts? I love that. We need a donut command. That would be awesome. Um, All right, I think the next convenience store, I'm gonna try to find some ice cream or something. We need, we need to cool down like internally. We like maintain our body temperature because I am uh, I am hot even with this umbrella. Uh, it is just so hot. Kakigori time. There's actually a famous kakigori shop back where we started the stream, but um, it's really really difficult to get into. You have to put your name on a waiting list, and it, even if you get there like two hours before they open, it'll still take you another two hours to even get into the shop. Um, it's really ridiculous, but uh, it's a very famous kakigori shop. I wish I could go there. What am I drinking? I'm drinking a mugi cha, which is a barley tea. It's one of the best teas for hydrate. Oh, that guy's jacket. He has the air conditioner jacket. Did you see how puffy it was? It was like, you could hear the fans blowing and everything. Oh, well there, Nightbot. Nightbot finally <laughs> worked. I think Nightbot was lagging. There is the info right there. Put a bun under your hat and by the time the walk's done it's steamed? I think so. Pretty sure that that actually would happen. Tracy would love to live here. Yeah. Robert says, uh, I was wanting to move to Japan and open an udon shop. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, Nightbot, well, it, it should be a 60 second timer thing on on the command I don't know if it went off one time already from someone else but anyways there it is uh, and there again one angry sandwich not knowing how to type <laughs> as usual uh, oh, I got some old old shops and stuff around here it's pretty neat what does that say Asian ethnic restaurant Siwa Michelle how you doing
kind of taking a taking a look here. What is a personal shopper? Um, to my knowledge, that's someone that goes out and does the grocery shopping for you. Like grocery shopping or whatever. Like you just tell them what you want and then they'll go and go, go get it. Don't overdo it. Yeah, don't worry, mom. I'm a, I'll be okay. We're gonna get some ice cream. We're gonna try to cool down right now and uh, try to, you know, find some shade. The wind is picking up a little bit over here, so that's nice. Hi, Danielle, how are you? You're typing in the dark? They need to turn that into a song. Joey's typing in the dark. His fingers pressing the wrong keys. Typing in the dark. I can't spell for shit. Yeah, we need a weather command. Um, it is blazing hot. That's, that's all I, you know, if you typed in weather right now, it would probably just say hot as F. Uh, Zero Hoot says, my mom says she's, she never sees any fat people walking in Japan. Um, there are, there are. Uh, it's just not like as common as like, you know, North America, you know, like United States or something. But yeah, there, there are, you know, kind of overweight people here, obese people, but not, not often. Like it's, it's rare, not rare, but like, you just don't see them that often. All right, I'm gonna go inside of this 7-Eleven. If we buffer, I am so sorry, but I'm gonna get some ice cream. I gotta close my umbrella first. Uh, hang tight. Okay. All right, we're going in. All right, I hope we don't F. Where's the ice cream? Where is it? Oh, here. Okay, we got ice cream. Different ice cream, ramen ice cream, kakigori soda ice cream. Uh, last time I had the mango, I had mango one time on stream. So, I think I want these grape balls. These are really good. It's ice grape balls. It's like ice cup, but it's balls of grapes. Yeah. And we'll get uh, a thing of ice too for my drink. Okay. あ、大丈夫です。お疲れ様。お選びください。現金を入れ終わりましたら確認の上、オーケーボタンを押してください。お釣り取レシートを受け取りください。お取り忘れにご注意ください。はい、ありがとうございます。Oh, did the stabilizer go out? What just happened? <laughs> uh, hello? What happened? Why, why is my stabilizer doing this? Oh, sorry about that, guys. I think my thumb hit the button, the power button, while I was trying to put my wallet in my pocket. Sorry, 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 guys, sorry. And if I missed any chat stuff, I'm so sorry as well. Did I buy alcohol? No, I don't drink alcohol. I, I am sober. I've been sober since October 22, uh, 2020. There we go. But I bought this um, Icebox. So Icebox, uh, Morinaga, this company, they, they've been making this thing called Icebox for years. Like I remember in high school, you get it. It's basically like a cup of ice and they would have like lemon flavor and stuff. But this one is a tube and it's got balls of grape flavor inside of here. Um, Orville with the 7-Eleven Dono. Thank you guys, hearts and chat. I can't make the heart with holding that. Okay, yeah, hearts and chat for Orville. Thank you so much. We uh, appreciate that. Yeah, grape balls of fire. So this is really good. And then um, I bought a cup of ice 
So this is pretty cool because you can get these from any convenience store in the freezer section and you just pour whatever you want in it. Um, some of them are designed specifically for like iced coffee or cappuccino or something. They have a machine in there, but you can just buy the cup, you know, with the ice and just put whatever you want in it. Um, you don't have to use it for the coffee if you don't want to. But, um, okay, we need to find, uh, we need to find some shady spot with some wind or something because I am baking right now. My neck is so hot. Um, what is this little side street here? Are they big balls or small grape size balls? Uh, I'll show you when I open it. How much is the ice cup? Uh, the, I forget, I didn't even see the price, but it was like a hundred and something yen, 130 yen, something like that. It's like a dollar for some ice, excuse me. It looks like a little drinking alley. Um, it's over here. Is there anywhere to post up and talk to you guys and show you this, uh, the grape balls? Rebecca says, does Japan have self-service checkouts in those convenience stores? Because I always just see cashiers. Uh, they do. Some of them do. It depends on where you go. Some of them do have uh, the self-checkout. It's not everywhere. Um, okay, I think maybe on top of that air conditioner. Oh, that's someone's house. Okay, uh, maybe that's a no-go. There's another alley here. It would be nice, but this is, I believe, someone's house. So... Let me uh, find another place. Yeah, I got a little uh, Mickey Mouse cup. It's got like little Mickey Mouse stuff. Mickey and friends. Find the shade, yeah. My balls okay? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. Um, maybe over there. There might be something straight ahead. Oof. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at right now, guys. But think is there somewhere to like post up over here I don't want leaky balls yeah that's not recommended are there slurpees no they don't have any slurpees but um, for the summer season they do have smoothies so they they have cups like this but it has frozen fruit in it instead like frozen mangoes and strawberries and then there's a blender machine that you just put it in and it automatically blends it into a smoothie but uh they don't have icy or slurpees like that like in the states they don't have that here yeah when i whenever i talk to a japanese person about slurpees or ices they're always like oh my god like their mind is just so blown because they've never seen or heard that before uh fungus with the 20 dollars uh what did he say uh keep those balls out of the heat <laughs> gasm yo hearts uh i can't do the heart uh th there's my little heart for you man thank you guys hearts in chat for fungus Appreciate that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, fungus among us. There's got to be some shade somewhere. Where can I sit and just post up? Can I just do it like right here? Yeah, F it. I'm just going to do it right here. Oh my god. It's just way too hot. Oh. You can get Slurpees on base? Oh man, I'm so jealous. I used to love the blue Slurpees. All right. Okay. I have to turn this around. Okay, uh, first, first thing first, let me uh, make my drink real quick. You get Slurpees at the shoppy, uh, shop at PX? Oh man, that's cool. I missed that. Mel, how you doing? Good morning, good evening. Someone smuggle Corey a blue Slurpee? I, yeah. Sorry, one second. Margaret says, you're in that level of Mario Brothers where the sun is trying to kill you. Yeah, speaking of Mario, I've got my uh, my ghost nipple shirt. I was just doing that because my nipple's like right here. Um, the old shirt. Got s stinky pits, st pit stains. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta take off all this like lid stuff. Try switching your bag to your front so your back can cool off. It's not, it's, it's on my side. Like, you can see it here, it's on my side. 
so it's okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not on my back. Thank you, I appreciate the, the concern. Yeah, this is an old shirt. I bought this in 2019 from Uniqlo. It's like they don't, they don't make this anymore. Glad to see you dressed a little light today. Yeah, thank you for uh, suggesting that. Yeah, so I just poured... What's going on? Oh, fire truck. And there's... Yeah, that's it. Okay, well... Okay, uh... The police, yeah, it was the fire station. So yeah, I put, uh, I put my tea in here. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to grab a straw, but it's okay. It's the end of the world as we know it. So cheers, guys. Cheers. Ah, nice and cold, nice and cold. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys this ice box grape ball thing here. I got to eat it because it's probably melting in here. But these are so good. They're really sweet and just really delicious balls of frozen grape juice, basically. You thought it was an air raid? Yeah, we're be Tokyo's being bombed. Oh my god. I wonder if that's like traumatic for survivors of uh, the Tokyo fire bombings. Probably. Uh, Brooke with the $10 says, please be safe today and stay moist. Don't overdo it. Thank you. I, I won't. Uh, I remember how dangerous the heat could be there. Yeah, it's, it's not even August and it's already like just super insanely hot. But thank you guys. Hearts and chat for Brooke. Hearts and chat. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yeah, so it's got the spinny lid, ta-da, and then, uh, oh, these are not balls? Okay, they're just chunks, my bad. Did I say balls? They're chunks. Let me turn this around. Yeah, uh, can we get you in there? Oh, it's like hard to see. Um, um, is there, is there light? Yeah, okay, there. Yeah, so you can see there's just chunks of like frozen grape juice. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was ice balls. I haven't eat this. Uh, I haven't eaten this in a long time, so I forgot the shape. But yeah, moist chunks. Yeah, I'm sorry for all you ball enthusiasts that are now disappointed because it's not actually balls. I'm so sorry. Yeah, disappointed. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but uh, you just drink it like you know. You eat it like this. Sasha's demanding a refund now, I bet. <laughs> Fungus says, Corey had everyone worked up trying to see the balls. I mean, I could show you some balls if you really wanted to see some balls, but. Mmm. So good. Google says it's 33 right now with 45% humidity. I bet you it's higher than that. It feels way hotter. I'm like dripping sweat. It's good. What's really good is putting some other juice or something in here and you're using basically the frozen grape juice as ice. So you could put like alcohol in here. Um, I don't know, like a, like a lemon sour or something. Um, you could put Sprite, you know, ju orange juice, whatever you wanted in here. And it's basically like grape flavored ice. And it's really good. And it even has a lid. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like multivitamins, kind of. Yeah, it's small little chunks. Imagine soju in that bottle. Yeah, I could totally imagine that. Lid for the win, yeah, this is such a good deal. So. Yeah, if you guys ever have a chance to try this, if you ever come to Japan and you see this, definitely get it. It's really, really good. What time is it there now? It is 11, almost 11.20 a.m. Monday morning. So I'm gonna keep streaming for maybe another, almost two hours. We'll just see, it depends on how hot it is. But my goal today was to start at Sugamo and then walk along the old Nakasendo road all the way to uh, Itabashi. Uh, Itabashi.
Um, Fenita says, please regard Corey. Sansi, today is your new birthday. She is Chilean. Happy birthday, Sansi. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but happy birthday. Happy birthday. Time moves fast, guys. Time moves fast. I'm gonna, let me try to turn this so you guys can get a, a different view, not just like me and a, a boring, boring thing. Um, yeah, so since I have the wireless mic, I can actually kind of stand further away and still talk to you guys, but I can't read chat. Oh yeah, okay, that's, that's the issue right there. I can't read chat. Okay, I have to be right here, then I can read chat. This way you guys can see what's going on behind me. And just see daily life Tokyo. I've got to some forest areas, trees will cool you down. Yeah, I don't think I'm near any. And um, also where I'm going, it's like the road is not anywhere near any kind of stuff. Scott, yes, I can read it. How far? I can read it from here. You're going to have zombie teeth? I think so. It'll be nice and purple. How about this? Yeah, I can read it. <laughs> In lowercase, yeah. Uh, one day at a time. How are you doing? I hope you're taking it one day at a time. Hmm. I don't want to waste this, so I'm just going to eat it all right now and talk to you guys. What, what did you say? What? What? <laughs> Yo, JVlog, good morning. How you doing? How's it down there in Kyushu, man? It is blazing hot and humid here. I'm eating some icebox. Grape icebox. Was there a pink van? I didn't see it. Could have been the, the mail delivery van. They're red, but when they get sun faded, it looks pink. Uh, Kelsey says, I got a nine hour shift tomorrow, so I'm gonna, whoa, chat moved, Did, can't see it. I'm gonna scoot, but I'm glad I managed to catch some of today's stream. Yeah, thank you so much, Kelsey. See you later. Thank you, thank you. Miss seeing you in chat. I hope you're doing well and uh, get some good sleep. Stay hydrated. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. I'll see you in Discord. 80s at night, yeah, like, it was so hot last night, I had to actually turn my AC on, and that's like a rare thing. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, Byron says, uh, can you say hi to my wife, Yuko, who is watching? Hi, Yuko, konnichiwa. I gotta shake this up, because it's like one big frozen chunk at the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. It's good. That didn't really help. I think I made it worse. <laughs> I think I made the chunk into one big frozen chunk ball. Arigato. Eh, doi tashimashite. Well, it's more like slush. Um, sandwich says busy day for emergency. Um, what is that? Emergency units. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's a lady. I think she's probably going to tell me to leave. She's like uh, working for the, the building. She came out and was just staring at me. <laughs> yeah. So I think she's just trying to like let her, let me know that she knows I'm there. Yeah, she like, she works for the building. So anyways, um, let me cross the street. <laughs> Busted, uh, let me cross the street. Uh, I can't turn this. Why can't I do this? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was, it was passive aggressive. She didn't say anything, but she came out, she looked at me and just kind of stared at me. And then she kind of pretended like she was looking around at nothing. Like, oh yeah, what's, what's going on here?
But I know she was definitely like, yeah, hey, get off the front steps of this building. Yeah, she gave me the look. Calling the cops? I hope so. I hope she calls the cops. Um, I'm trying to wait for the light to turn green so this car can go. Go. Go, go, go. Should have told her peekaboo, I see you. I should have. Oh, we got another dog. There's a... Uh, what, what kind of dog is this? I can't see. Okay, yeah, it's a cute boy. It's a cute little doggy. He's happy. Yeah, so, uh, it's a Pomeranian mix, I think. It doesn't look like a full Pomeranian. Um, anyways, uh, dog count too. Yeah, Inu count too. It's a pom pom. It, it looked bigger than a normal Pomeranian, which is why I was like, what is this? <laughs> Do I have access to a pool? Um, not really. I mean, technically, yeah. Like if I went to the community pool and paid for it. But um, I don't like going to the swimming pool because there's a bunch of other people swimming and stuff. And it's just not ideal. Uh, the fire truck came here. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm trying to see where they went. They're just, uh, yeah, I don't know if they went into one of these buildings around here or what. Maybe they were like using the siren and they're like, I gotta go pick up lunch real quick. <laughs> Move out of the way, my lunch is ready <laughs> to go get picked up. That's what chlorine is for? Oh, true, Sherry, true. Um, let me find another spot to like, set up and then try to finish this uh, ice box thing. I I'm still holding it. Yeah, actually I see this, this sign right here. I'm going to use this. Probably a gas leak. Yeah, I'll let you all watch traffic for like just a second while I finish this. We'll do like people watching. Someone's getting in a cab. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's hot. Oh, I hear a ding ding. There's a ding ding. Hold on. There's all these sirens going on. What is happening? Something, something's going on. Yeah, people doing human things. Look at that. It's, it's Japan. It's Japan. The ding ding is very subtle. It's very quiet. It sounds like the ding ding thing is like, like broken. <laughs> it's like so quiet. Yeah, train's coming. I wonder if it's also the Arakawa Tonden, but uh, probably not. Oh, you know what, guys? I completely forgot about this. I have this uh, rag. It's, it's one of those cooling rags. You get wet, you squeeze the water out, and then you wrap it around your neck. Oh, that looks like the Yamanote line. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, what, what line is that? I don't know. Is that the Mito line? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I, I totally forgot I had this. Uh, Daniel and Yuka says, are you going to Tokyo Lens meetup tomorrow night? Uh, no, I have work. I work, I work Tuesday through Saturday. And, uh, even if I wasn't working, I probably wouldn't go. Because I, I already know Norm. I don't, I don't need to go to his meetups. But, uh, how you doing? Daniel and, uh, Yuka, I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I totally forgot that I had that. Um, What's the food spot across the way? What is that? Oh, it's karaage chicken. Karaage fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. Say hi to Norm. Oh, uh, I, don't, I don't ever meet or talk to Norm. I, I know him, I've met with him. I've, I've helped him film a video before. Um, but I, I don't ever communicate with him or anything like that. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's continue the walk. I finished the, the grape stuff. Tokyo summer sucks totally. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, 
You feel like a steamed lobster? It actually sounds delicious. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. What is this area? I can't see, I can't read the, the thing. Um, anyways, we're going. It's a nice day. It's nice and sunny. I gotta, hold on, is this? There we go. Not the steam part for you? <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Yeah, so I think we're getting close to like Shin Itabashi area. Yeah, if we reach the end, like my goal of reaching Itabashi like sooner than later, then we'll have free time to just wander around randomly. Uh, Jim and Harriet with the $5 says you got to get yourself a portable fan. Thank you guys, hearts in chat. Hearts in chat for uh, Jim and Harriet. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. If Japan is it? Oh my god. I, I recommend you guys not to come here in July or August. It's just absolutely dreadful and hot. Try to come here some other time. <laughs> Any other time except July and especially August. Uh, Daniel and Yuka say, curious how you're keeping your phone cool during streaming. Mine overheated twice. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was my fear was uh, overheating. Um, I'm just sticking to the shade as much as possible. Um, my phone is probably really, really hot. Um, so I'm, I'm afraid it's going to overheat and like turn off, but uh, we'll see. Still going. Yo, Don be in the house. What's up? October, February isn't that bad. Oh, October to February isn't that bad and cheaper to travel. Yeah, Christmas isn't, uh, it's not a thing here. We're not a, it's not a Christian nation, so they don't celebrate Christmas the same way that they do in the States or elsewhere. You need to uh, employ someone sometime to carry a shade umbrella behind you. So, oh, okay, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Um, Christmas is panic, Corey. May I have visited in August and climbed Fushimi Inari? It was brutal, but worth it. Damn. I don't know. I recommend if you do come here, do not come in August again. <laughs> if you've done it once, come back some other time. Like, come back in like March or like November. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, fried chicken and romance. Yeah, it's completely different. It's KFC holiday. Oh my god, it is hot. Ooh wee. You guys doing okay? You guys got drinks and snacks and stuff for the stream? You're gonna come back in July? <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot. Uh, to the Gion Festival, I see. Yeah, just the, the whole KFC Christmas thing in Japan is just so funny to me. And I grew up here, so like, it's just, I don't know, it's just funny. It's totally like an advertising thing that became a national kind of like tradition. It's so funny to think about. You got water, all right. Very seltzer water for the win. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, that like the manager of KFC that did that campaign and started this national tradition is freaking genius. If only I could do something like that, I would be making it live in large. Why don't you just go stay in your house in the mountains during summertime? I wish. If I had a lot of money, I definitely would buy a nice, cool summer home somewhere like up in the mountains or near the ocean or something.
Oof. Living like Larry, Larry Flint, yes. Uh, Jimothy would love to show peeps some pics from the BBI in the future. Yeah, uh, you have to be 18 or older to join though, but uh, exclamation discord uh, should give you the invite link. JVlog says August, the Sassable fireworks return. Yeah, that's awesome. I remember those when I was like in, in high school. Yeah, that was so fun. Oof. All right, we're not done yet. Uh, there's gonna be the, the expressway. The elevated expressway is um, gonna cross here. We're gonna have to cross to the other side of it and continue. There's more shopping street areas over there. So it's gonna be, uh, we're not over yet. This journey, Sugamo to Itabashi. But it's a nice walk. I'm glad I have this cold iced tea drink here. Did chat die? Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Look, there was no messages for a bit. Yeah, so I do apologize, guys. Um, I'm not, like, venturing down any side alleys. We've been on this one street the entire time. Uh, GMW, how you doing? You made it. Yes, yes. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm going to try to keep streaming for another hour and a half, but uh, it's so hot. I don't know if my phone will overheat or what, but we're just going to keep going. I'm going to try to stick to the shade as much as possible. Oh, yeah. 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 ま、ユーチューブしてる。ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま、ユーチューブ。ま
but you could do it if you wanted, uh, walk, like re retrace the steps of all the people who took the Edo to Kyoto back in the day. But it's got some uh, creepy rabbit stuff up on the top there. Yeah, Kyushu, yeah, they, they won't like jump, scare you or anything like that, but yeah. Um, I've actually eaten at this uh, place before, this Bombay Palace. It's actually really good Indian food. Their naan was really nice. And I, I think I had kimakare here before. Yeah, it was really good. Squinto says, Ho, oh, brah, just pow eat. Forget you was streaming today. Ah, no worries, cuz. No worries. Um, that's my, my, my weird attempt at speaking pigeon. I, I forgot, I haven't spoken pigeon in so long, I forgot, like, how. <laughs> yeah, big island, brah. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Yeah, um, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna take a big sip here. Uh, I'm like chugging my drink here. Oh, yeah, Mickey cup, Mickey and friends. Oh, Dombi, thank you for that info. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see any, uh, I must have missed the question if there was like something about where to send gifts. Yeah, I don't, there's no P.O. box here. If I, if I wanted to get some kind of like P.O. box here, you need to have a business registered in order to get one. It's, it's a kind of like a pain in the butt to get one. Um, and I don't have a registered business here, so. Any plans to do a video on the Shinkansen? Uh, no, just because uh, the Shinkansen is really expensive. I'm broke and I have no reason to travel because I have no money. So yeah, unfortunately, no Shinkansen videos anytime soon. Like probably not for another year or two. I don't know. We'll see. Sorry, I'm 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 paused in the shade to to drink. It's so hot, guys. I'm gonna have to uh, pull out my umbrella again. Send my stuff to a love hotel. That sounds actually pretty good. Um, Chotomate. There's a there's a little bench here. I'm gonna. Try to do something with my bag real quick. Oh my god. Okay. 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue. You know, my address used to be on Pennsylvania Avenue. I used to live at 2424 Pennsylvania Avenue. I was like down the street from the White House uh, when I lived in Foggy Bottom. The good old days. Yeah, I was. I lived across the street from McFadden's and above the liquor store. All right, are we good? Um, trying to see if I can fix this thing. Sorry, guys. One second. I'm trying to put stuff in my bag so I can take out my umbrella because it's so hot. Oh, this doesn't work. Um, all right, there we go. I was trying to put my used cup into my bag so I don't have to carry it, but it wasn't fitting in properly. So, okay, I got my umbrella. Hey now, oh wait, he no DC, that's where I live now. Yeah, I lived in DC for, uh, for a long time. Well, not a long, long time, but you know, for a while, like six years-ish. Um, lived in Foggy Bottom. My school was uh, the Corcoran College of Art and Design, right across the street from like the White House and the Eisenhower building. Whoa, what happened just now? Why did this, why did my, why did my stabilizer die? Oh, it's off balance, that's why. Sorry guys, hang tight. Yeah, so my apartment building was right by uh, GW University Hospital. Soggy bottoms? <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Yeah, did I break everyone's neck just now? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, my phone was a little off balance because of uh, the way the, the wireless cable thing was like pulling it. So sorry about that. Unilaterally snaps 245 necks. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel much cooler after eating that uh, grape stuff and then tanking my, my, uh, my tea, my iced tea. That was great. Uh, Panic says, all right, I'm off to get some shut eye. Have a good stream. Thanks, Corey, for the great stream. Yeah, see you, see you on Discord, man. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you sleep well. Looks like there's a temple over here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we haven't seen too many temples along the way. There's this old stone that's uh, carved here. And they've got it protected with this uh, kind of wooden cage thing. So I wish I knew more about it, but it must be really, really old. Yeah, this is nice. Oh my God, it's so sweaty. Uh, sorry, I gotta like shake my hand. Um, oh, this is pretty nice. There's a, a nice little kind of area where you can wash your hands and rinse your mouth and stuff. It's got some, some vegetation growing off the top of there. Seven Eleven is Corey's favorite kombini. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, they got these cute little, um, statues here look at that they're all bald and smiling and happy any japanese bands you recommend um i don't really follow music at all so i i, I can't really tell you of some bands like now but like back in the day like i used to listen to some you know groups and bands like rise r-i-z-e um i met them before i got to hang out on their tour bus and stuff like that when they were touring the u.s um, but they know like some of my friends in real life and stuff. So it's really cool. Um, so they were pretty cool. They were like rock, rap, like reggae style band. Um, you know, similar to like 311 and I don't know, Sublime and whatnot. And Ra Rage Against the Machine, kind of like a fusion style. Um, one of my favorite hip hop groups from back in the 90s, Japanese, is uh, Shaka Zombie. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're still performing or not. There's some neat statues back here. Uh, Ilan with the five euro says, thank you for all your walks. I miss Japan Street so much. Guys, thank you. Hearts in chat for, uh, did I say your name right? Ilan? Am I saying it right? Yeah, hearts in chat. Thank you, thank you. You're going to try to make your own version of the frozen grape balls? It, I highly recommend it. It's really, really good. Um, this is pretty cool. Very serene back here. Very peaceful, minus the truck. But yeah, very old style temple. Okay. The frozen grape balls and peach and mekon balls are awesome. Oh, I haven't had the peach or the mekon ones. I only ever see the grape ones in the in the convenience stores. Where do you get the, the peach and the mekon ones? Is that in the supermarket? Yeah, we got some tall buildings. Uh, let's head out, let's continue up. I think we're kind of reaching Itabashi area or I think actually I'm in Itabashi right now. I think that's where I'm at. So we'll try to go up to the end of this like road. You can't continue down the, the old Nakasendo road. And then from there, we're just gonna, I don't know, maybe head south towards Ikebukuro or something and just kind of randomly zigzag through streets as long as uh, you know heat permits the phone to operate. Does that sound good for you guys? Taro balls, also nice. Taro is nice, I like taro. 
Oh, well, Sia had them. And Famima and Erogawa. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep my eyes out for them. Thank you. Yeah, so this is a, looks like a chill, chill neighborhood, very residential. So it's interesting how this one road, like the community just kind of built itself around this road. So, you know, we passed the whole like Shotengai area back at uh, Sugamo, Jizo, Dori. Um, and then now we're at this, the Itabashi one, I guess. So it's just very cool because it's one long road. <laughs> we haven't turned really. Uh, one OK Rock and Miyavi. I'm seeing them both soon. I can't wait. Oh, okay, I don't know those groups, but Whew. okay, it feels a little bit cooler now. I don't know. Maybe it's because I drank all that that cold stuff. Another Family Mart. Uh, GFH asks, where do you think it's the least expensive part of Tokyo to live in? Uh, that's, I don't, I don't really know. I can't really say exactly. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but like the further away you are from central Tokyo, the cheaper it is. So if you go to like the absolute edge of like Tokyo prefecture, like way out west, like Fusa or even further, I don't, I don't even know, like those areas or maybe like the border of Saitama and Tokyo Prefecture but I'm not sure which what, what areas I'm sorry I'm not, I'm not like a, a real estate guru like I live just outside of Tokyo like so my area is pretty cheap I live in Chiba Prefecture in Matsudo all right what's going on here Yeah, I think it just, you know, it all depends on like, like, what do you mean by cheap? And like, what's, it, what's your budget like? Are you looking for a one bedroom? Are you looking for a studio? Are you looking to share? Like live in a share house with other people? So yeah, there's a lot of factors that would go into answering that kind of question. Um, like you can find cheap places. You just gotta look really, really hard. Like uh, in central Tokyo. Okay, it looks like we've got another shopping street straight ahead. I don't know what that is. But it's oh, Kyu Nakasendo Nakajuku. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there's another shopping street area up here, guys. Yeah, so we're, we're leaving this one here with the creepy rabbit on the top. Can you see it? Creepy, creepy rabbit. They have Kumon in Japan. Uh, to my knowledge, Kumon is from Japan. <laughs> uh, to my knowledge. I don't know where it originated from, but I thought it was from Japan. So this is a pretty interesting little four-way intersection. Um, looks like a lot of stuff's around here. What do we got here? There's some cafes. And some food places. The rabbit has pants. Yeah, that's creepy. Animals with pants? What, what is going on? What, what world do we live in? Uh, what is this? Is this karaage? Oh, there's like a fried chicken place right here. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells really, really good. Since 1895, Torishin, it's called Torishin. Wow. Oh, so much fried chicken and karaage. Wow, it looks great. Oh, the umbrella hit the awning. That looked great. Kumon is uh, from Japan. Okay, yeah, Don, thank you. Uh, Kumon is Japanese surname. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Yeah, so we've reached uh, another place here. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Nakajuku. Yeah, so this, this little shoten guy is called Nakajuku. It's part of the old 
Nakasendo Road as well. So this is separate from the other one that we just left, but it's still on the same road. Have I tried Karaage Pepsi Zero? Uh, I saw it in the store the other day. Um, it was clear, right? The one I saw was clear. Um, I have not tried it yet. No, not yet. I should get some Karaage on the way home and buy one of those and see, see if it pairs well. Uh, this is... Whoa. Old, old building here. Like Edo era style building. Wow. It's uh looks like a rest oh they do bento bento boxes. Very cool design. Cool layout. Marufuku. Some more food places. Looks like they do uh menti katsu and other fried foods right there. Tempura. Focus. Okay, I had to double check if we were in focus just now. All right. Um, yeah, I like this street. This is more cool than all the other areas of the street that we walked on because it has more of a, like a small neighborhood vibe. Um, local produce store. Oh, I can smell peaches. <sighs> mm, I smell peaches. There's a local like kind of furniture store over here. Oh, let me cross the street. Uh, desks and cabinets and stuff, bookshelves. Favorite Japanese fried food? Ooh, I don't know, that's really tough. Um, I actually had some ebi fry yesterday for the first time in a long time and it was really delicious. So I'm gonna just say ebi fry <laughs> right now just because it's the last fried thing that I ate. Um, masks were never mandatory uh, in Japan. There, there was never a law or a mandate that said you had to wear a mask. And if you didn't wear a mask, like there was no penalty or punishment or repercussions or anything like that. Uh, it's just a, a thing with uh, Japanese society, Korean society, you know, people, they understand that, you know, if there's like a, some kind of endemic or pandemic, um, you know, the best thing to help everybody is to you know, wear a mask. So like in, in hay fever season and flu season, people don't want to spread sickness to others. It's not, they don't want to catch it from others. It's like if they have it, they don't want to spread it to other people. So it's the other way around. They're more concerned about other people than themselves. But of course, you know, you, you do wear it for yourself as well. But yeah, so that's why. That's why everyone's still wearing it. Just wear a mask, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, common sense, basically. Yeah, they're wearing a mask because it's common sense. The pandemic is not over. Um, let me zoom down this street. This is a nice looking street. Uh, but the Sagawa, uh, Sagawa delivery truck is kind of blocking the view. But yeah, can you see all those lamps, lamp poles with the lights and stuff? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? It goes down pretty far. Yeah, I've said this before, you know, like America is me, 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 me. Japan's very conformist, kind of collective society. Everyone's thinking about the country as a whole instead of me, 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 me. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? All right, let's, uh, let's continue. It is so hot. Oh my God. Hall of Fantasy, how you doing? Says, ah, Sagawa, Kuro Neko. It's, it's similar. Yeah, they're like a delivery company, just like uh, Yamato, Kuro Neko. Summer will be insane with masks on. Yeah, so the government did say uh, because of the heat and stuff like that, like you, you don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to, but try not to talk and please social distance. But because the pandemic is not over and everybody knows that, they still continue to wear a mask. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, uh, the heat, heat stroke and stuff is a, a definite concern. Oh, this is cool. There's, a, there's an old Kodak Express right here. I thought, Ko I thought Kodak went under. Like I thought they went bankrupt and closed. 
Interesting. Old school. They do have summer masks made of spun cotton. Oh yeah, I forget what they're called. What, what is that brand or whatever? I've seen it. Yeah. So this is a pretty neat little area. Um, small restaurants and stuff like that, local, local businesses. Time for another cold drink from 7-Eleven? I think so. Oh God, I just tripped. Um, yeah, I think so. If I see a konbini, we'll, uh, we'll try to go get a, a thing. Or, or just a vending machine drink too. But the ice cup actually really helps. So yeah, might have to do that. Oh really, Ursinate? Oh okay, I, I thought like Kodak like went, they like ended or something. Like before the pandemic. Um, I don't know, maybe I, I read something else. Uh, Supreme Hunter, how you doing? What's up? <laughs> I did. Yep, the curb's doing its job. Nice. Inspected by Corey. Uh, oh, is this a rice shop? Oh, this is a rice shop. Oh, it's, it's grain, rice and grains. This is all different types of grains from different areas. Um, wow, Fukushima, Yamagata. Yeah, that's cool. Rice, rice. Rice, rice, baby. Are you in vacation in Japan? Oh no, I live here. I live here. And individual tourists are, are still not allowed in Japan. Um, yeah, this neighborhood seems kind of cool. Seems pretty chill. There's a ramen shop. These guys are literally sitting in line in the blazing sun to go eat hot ramen. What? What? They love ramen so much that they're willing to sit in the blazing, blazing hot sun. They're all wearing long pants too. Oh my God. To go eat hot ramen. <laughs> Oh man, that place better have cold ramen, some kind of like daemon or something. Otherwise, man, like going to eat hot ramen on a hot day like this, uh, that's just, whew. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is this place? This is pretty neat. Oh, it's like a, what? Okay, so it's like a modern apartment building on the very top floor. And then the second floor, it starts to look more a little old and traditional Then the first floor is like really traditional. That's pretty cool. It's like a fusion building. Their heat resistance is 100%. Yeah, I think so. Solmen would be amazing right now. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I would kill for Solmen. Guts says, old people got an immunity to heat. Oh no, <laughs> that's terrible. Every year in Japan, there's a lot of elderly that die from heat stroke because they, do, they don't have air conditioning or something like that in their homes. Um, on this side street over here, I do see some kind of temple or shrine. So let's go check that out. Yeah, this is the Life Store, guys, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to look at this on the left. Yeah, Life. Life. If you, if you guys are looking to buy Life, it's right here. I don't have a life. I guess I should go in here and get a membership card. Uh, what is this place up here? Mount, Chicken Mount Fishtail. Is that like Thai food? Uh, J Vlog says, noon chimes just went off here but didn't hear them in your stream. Yeah, I don't know if I'm near... Uh, I guess this neighborhood doesn't have any. Yeah, what is that? That looks like, uh, I don't even know. Oh, is it, uh, it's Indian food. It's like a mix fusion Indian food, kare. Okay, the fishtail thing was weird though. It was like aji fry plus like jjigae. It looked weird. 
Yeah, I, this thing right here caught my eye. This place looks very nice. Sponsored by Audi. No, just kidding. Um, the Two Rings is a, I don't know exactly what it stands for. Um, wow, this is beautiful. Look at that roof. That sloping roof is beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. It's nice and cool back here. Yeah, that's nice. What do they got over here? Uh, oh, there's a bell. This is cool. So I think we were gonna have to donate some money and we're gonna have to ring the bell here. They don't have one of those bells where, you know, it's hanging from the ceiling and then you ring the rope, like shake the rope. This one is like hanging right here. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. I gotta pull out some coins first though. Uh, welcome back Rupesh. So pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. I like the ceiling art too. It's got a lot of uh, flowers and stuff up there. Um, do I have some coins? Yeah. All right, let me... Sorry, I'm pulling out a coin here. All right, ready? All right, so I got the coin, put it in the money box. Ready? We'll do a, we'll do a nice pull. Okay, there we go, guys. That was it. What'd you think? It's pretty nice, huh? Slam it? Oh, no, I'm not gonna slam it. Um, it was pretty loud, yeah. It was a nice, nice sustain on it. There's a nice little seating area over here, too, if you wanted to come and hang out and, you know, chat, stay cool. So it's, it's really nice, because, you know, this is all free, of course. Every temple and shrine is like free to visit during, you know, their opening hours. Did anyone else say a little prayer? I definitely said a prayer for you guys. Um, you guys know what I usually wish for, for y'all. You know, good health, prosperity. If you're suffering from anxiety, I hope you overcome it and get past it um, or are not totally crippled by it like I used to be or still am sometimes. Uh, look in there, what is that? That is cool. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, Sid, how you doing? Hey Corey, late to the stream, but I'm here now. Where are we exploring today? Uh, we started off in Sugamo and uh, we're walking along the old Nakasendo Road, which led uh, from old Tokyo, old Edo era Tokyo. Edo is what it was called. And uh, it connected all the way to Kyo uh, Kyoto. So it was like a 500 or 600 kilometer road um, starting from Nihonbashi and it goes all the way to Kyoto. And so um, part of that road still kind of exists now. You can actually retrace the steps of it, but of course it's you know modernized now. There's all these buildings and neighborhoods and stuff that popped up around it. But um, yeah, we basically did that today. Sugamo to Itabashi. We are in Itabashi now, and I think we're kind of coming to the end. And then uh, after that, uh, we have about an hour. We, yeah, we have a little under an hour of just like randomly walking. Pi, how are you? Ellis, how's it going? Yeah, it's definitely over 30. I, I don't know, I think it's like 34, 35. With the heat index, I don't know, it feels like 39 or 40 or something. It's, it's ridiculous. It's pretty humid too. How much is the gym membership there? Um, I don't really go to gyms here. The ones I've seen are very expensive, but maybe my moderator, uh, Danby, uh, Tenia, she can answer that because she does go to a, a local gym. Maybe she can give some more insight because I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't like going to gyms. <laughs> I don't like smelling other people's sweat and waiting for them to use equipment and finish. Uh, that's a pretty cool building. Check that out with the fire escape on the side. There's plants and stuff. So I'll just kind of run down.
Yeah, yeah. It depends. Like, I, I live in the Tokyo area, so, you know, Tokyo area weather is way different from, like, you know, Fukuoka or up in Hokkaido or something. It is hot here in Tokyo. I'm in Tokyo right now. Whew. Yeah, we do need another ice cup for sure. Ice cup and a drink. Do, 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 do. I don't like other people's moistiness. No, I used to go to the gym all the time when I was younger. Um, and it's like, oh, sorry, I was like hiccuping and burping at the same time. It's really gross because some people like, you know, you're supposed to wipe the equipment after you use it. And a lot of people, like, they don't know how to wipe properly. It sounds funny to say that. But, um, you know, when, when, it, when I go to the machine, it's like still like all damp and wet and stuff. I'm like, dude, like, wipe it down. And, you know, you got to wait for them to finish, too. It's like they're on that machine for like 20, 30 minutes and you're like, yo, like I was just about to get on that. Now you ruined my entire flow. I gotta go do something else, but someone's using the other equipment and the other equipment and blah, blah, blah. like, I just, I don't like gyms. I work out for free. Yeah, I just don't like smelling other people's sweat. So yeah, uh, Nakajuku, looks like we're at the end. I don't know. There's, the street's still going. There's this like old bridge here. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, smelly and sticky. The wipe it down. Yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, it's cement, but it's painted brown to look like wood. Um, oh, this looks cool. Nice, nice, nice. You love laying on sweaty gym mats? Oh my God. <laughs> MRSA mats, ugh. Max says, no job is finished until the paperwork is done. True. And if you wanna know a country that loves their paperwork, it's definitely Japan. Their bureaucratic paperwork processes are just absolutely insane. Meguro River? Oh no, we, uh, I'm in Itabashi, so this is, uh, I think that's, is it the Kanda River? Is it, is it Kanda? Yeah, it's the Kanda Gawa. I think. What? what? Kanda, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, so this, this will connect all the way over to Akihabara, but I'm way west of it. Uh, Cat Oliver with a PayPal dono. Thank you so much, guys. Hearts and chat for Cat Oliver. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, the, the Megiddo River does have some parts that look like that too, so. Yeah, I'm in Itabashi. I'm north of Ikebukuro. So, um... Yeah, I don't know, like I think this road will come to an end kind of soon. Then I don't know where the Nakasendo line uh, like road continues, but from that point, guys, we will just uh, peace out. Not like not end the stream, but you know, we'll, we'll just start wandering around randomly. I'll probably make my way back towards uh, like south to Ikebukuro, I guess. Maybe might be the best thing to do. Um, my basketto. It's a local supermarket chain owned by Eon called My Basket. Uh, Sima, hi, how are you? Oh, it's a hot one. Little old cafe. Uh, there's a fake cat down on the ground. <laughs> I thought it was real at first. We, we haven't had a Neko on stream today. Yeah, which is kind of sad because uh, we used to see cats quite often. Now we haven't seen a single cat in like two, three streams. Yeah, two or three streams, no cats. But we've seen some dogs. We saw two dogs today. Uh, what is this? Is this like a chanko place? Kudachi. He's <laughs> got a sumo wrestler. He's got beer. It looks like chanko nabe in front of him.
They're hiding from the heat? Yeah, I think so. Um, Sid says, just curious, Japan is still using physical copies and not paperless for official documents, government-related matters? Yes. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some funny tweets and other things people share, like from Japan, like uh, office workers or even like police officers. And they're like, yeah, they, um, you know, they took someone's statement from some incident. They emailed like the chief about it. And then the chief's assistant printed out the email and then gave it to the chief. Then the chief responded by ty like, typing out on a piece of paper, like using a typewriter to reply to an email that was printed on paper, then the, the secretary or whatever had to transcribe that back to digital form into an email and then email it back. And I think he attached a, a, also a PDF copy of that, like a photo of what he typed. Like that's just how ridiculous their paperwork like mentality is here. It's like, oh, you gotta print an email and then type out a response it's just it's so backwards and so archaic it's so stupid it's really really dumb <laughs> it's like it's it just makes no sense whatsoever but that's japan for you guys japan land of the future right yeah oh my god high technology they're still using fax machines to to handle all kinds of business why are they not going paperless it's because all the old fogies that are running the government and uh, the corporations and stuff, they're just, they're still stuck in, their, their mentality is still stuck in like the 70s, the 60s and 70s and the 80s. Like, we gotta do this. We gotta do it this way. This is the way. Like, it's just, everything's about the process and not so much about logic. Oh yeah, they're still using word processors and typewriters and fax machines. Um, they're still businesses. Okay, here, here's how crazy it is. Offices are still using 3.5 inch floppy disks. Imagine that. Imagine that, the government office, like it's a, like a local city tax office or something. They're, they're saving their documents on a 3.5 floppy. <laughs> like. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. Just Google this stuff. You, you guys can Google this. Uh, you, I'm not making it up. Japan is stuck in the past in terms of like paperwork and office work procedures and stuff like that. Not kidding. Not kidding. Go Google it. Google. Just Google. Just, just play around on Google, you will find out like the things that I'm talking about are not lies. They are actual truths. Um, anyways, it's, it's just very funny. It's very funny to me. I'm like, wow, really? Really? Oof. It's hot. Okay, yeah, so I think the road, this Nakasendo road, uh, it ends like right up here and then from this point on i don't know where it like continues uh, this is the old rice shop that's kind of cool i love the glass sliding doors uh blank cd yeah you can go to the convenience store and you can still buy cassette tapes and uh, cds and like cdrs yeah people are still using that stuff yeah, bureaucracy is fun. Let's paperwork. Exactly, Scott. Yeah, so up here, I believe, is when the, 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 the what do you call it, Nakasendo Road kind of ends. And I think from here is where we're going to basically uh, head south and just kind of start wandering around, make our way towards Ikebukuro or at least the Yamanote line or something. How's my battery life right now? Uh, that's a good question. Let me check. Hang tight. Okay, uh, I, I just checked it. It's at uh, 54%. So I've been streaming, what? Uh, I've been streaming for two hours, 14 minutes in the super hot sun, and I'm down to 54%. Whew. Yeah, it's hot. It is hot. I'm getting slammed. I feel like I just got taken from behind by the sun, and he just showed me who's boss. Uh, this is a pretty cool old shop here. They do tatami mats and that kind of thing. 
straw mats, tatami mats, tatami repair. Chantal, how are you? Good afternoon. Oh, actually, I do see that the road does continue straight, but you know, for the sake of the stream, I think, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and just like start heading south. How do you keep equipment cool? Um, I have an umbrella, first of all, and I'm walking in the shade as much as possible. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably killing my phone. It's like, like overheating like crazy. Oh. Yeah, so. Tabashi, that was my goal. So let's, uh, let's walk straight and try to just get out of this area. Please get something to drink to hydrate. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Patuki. Um, I will find a convenience store. We will get an ice cup and a, like some tea or something. Are they still using rotary phones? Um, I haven't seen any. Not so much, no. I mean, maybe, maybe there's some old people that have some in their homes. Check out these three, uh, it's like chips, Japanese chips. Would they be called gyps? Sounds weird. Japanese Highway Patrol. Instead of California Highway Patrol. Have I had a drink yet? Uh, yes, LD. I, uh, we've been drinking, but uh, I do need to drink more. Okay, yeah, so this is a. Uh I'm gonna cross over that way. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, you know what? I see a 7-Eleven. I see a 7-Eleven, we're going for it. Um, if, you know, when I go inside of buildings and stuff, sometimes the signal buffers. So if it does, hang tight, guys. I'm gonna try and uh, buy an ice cup drink and, uh, or ice cup and a drink. Um, one second, I gotta put my umbrella. Then I gotta get my coins out. Now I gotta put my mask up. Oof. Okay, I've got my old old one here. It's empty. I'm gonna throw it away. Uh, where's my my money? Where's my money, man? hard to do all this one-handed, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, all right, we're in, we're in. All right, we're going in, guys. Oh God, what's happening here? Okay, there we go. Oh, I see that. Fast. I'm trying to do it fast.
for getting the lid and all right let's do this outside Oof. okay so that is the exact reason why i can't stream indoors or like in restaurants and stuff it just buffers um, but i do have this little power box here hopefully i don't get electrocuted while uh Um, actually, I'm gonna. Oh God. I uh, I got uh this black uh, udong udong cha black tea. But uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys on top of this one here, so that way you guys can see like the road and stuff. So hold on one second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh. yeah, are you guys still like in shock that Japan still uses floppy disks and fax machines? It's not a joke. I am not kidding. <laughs> You okay, chat? <laughs> All right, I got my my drink in there. All right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got my uh, black udong tea, black tea. Nice. Uh, fungus, you gave 10 bucks. Man, you didn't have to do that. You already gave money. What? Thank you, guys. Hearts in chat for fungus again. Thank you, thank you. But uh, cheers. Cool. It's hot. Most of our personal computers don't even have floppy drives anymore. So that tells you the age of the computers that they're using actually still have floppy drives on them. That's how ridiculous it is, guys. That's how ridiculous it is. Yeah, are we okay? Are we okay, chat? All right, uh, we're gonna try to get out of here and go south towards Ikebukuro. I've got about 45 minutes-ish for the stream. You saw my work computer? Yeah, it's from 2012. I'm that one has a CD drive, but I'm surprised it doesn't have a floppy drive. It's so old. Computer doesn't even have a disk drive? Yeah, neither does mine. Everything's just like downloadable now. Or, yeah, Korea still uses fax. But Japan is just way more bureaucratic about the paperwork than Korea is. Thank God. Um, but uh, anyways, let me turn this around so you guys can see where we're walking. Where Christopher walking. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, it's a hot one. It's a hot one. So let's um I guess let's go let's go down some side alleys and stuff. We haven't done that. We've been near this loud road the entire time. So let's just randomly walk. I'm glad someone likes my Christopher Walken joke. <laughs> Sorry, moving around. All right, what's, what's down this street? Yeah, it needs more cowbell. 
I've got a fever. And the only cure is more cowbell. I'm gonna take a soldering iron and stab you in the eye with it. <laughs> oh, I can't do a Christopher Walken impersonation. I love him though. Walking with Walken, yeah. Um, that's why Japanese computers are so good. They don't break so easily, they last forever. I guess, I don't know. I don't know how, how much maintenance is to like upkeep all those old things. Oh, I see. I see the, uh, the what do you call it? The incinerator smokestack for Ikebukuro. Uh, can you see that white? The white squarish column like in the distance? Yeah, that's Ikebukuro. That's Ikebukuro's west side. So uh, that's where we'll be, uh, where we will be going. Or at least get kind of close to it. We're not so far from it. So I think maybe we can do it in like 35 minutes, 40 minutes. A lot of sirens. Monday and fire trucks and ambulance and stuff. Uh, it, it could be related to the heat. I don't know. Could be related to the heat. But I hope you all are doing safe. Um, please, please take care of yourselves, guys. This summer is not a joke. Every summer in the last like five years has just been like crazier and crazier. And so please take care of yourselves. Hydrate, keep it moist. Do you remember eight track tapes? I do. Um, uh, I, m my friend and I, we rebuilt a 78 Cutlass Supreme. It had an 8-track player in it. Of course, we, we swapped it out to, for a CD like deck and receiver. But yeah, um, I do remember 8-track and 45s and all that. Um, know who he is? Who? Oh, Christopher Walken? Yeah, he was in Apocalypse Now and a bunch of old classics. He was in, was, he was in Joe Dirt, right? Yeah, <laughs> he was also in Joe Dirt. I loved him on SNL all the time. Uh, oh, he was also really, really good in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> He's like, this watch, your father gave me this watch to hold. And I put it in my ass. <laughs> it's so, that scene is so good. And I kept this watch in my ass. <laughs> wow, the shade is so nice, but as soon as you step in the sun, it's like five million degrees hotter. All right, where are we going? Where's this go? I don't know. Never been here. Can I cross? There's a heat wave alert for your city? Oh no. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't... Like, I think they haven't issued like a full heat wave warning here, but um, the, the local neighborhood speaker in my area, they do say like for the elderly to like stay home and stuff like that. Oh, it looks like there's a, there's a Buddhist temple over here. Nice. Let's go check it out. Whew. Oh, I'm trying to stay cool. It's hot. It goes up your bum, Corey. It does. All right. Hopefully we don't buffer back here. But, oh, this is nice. The shade. Okay, I'm standing in the shade. And this is a momiji. This is a Japanese maple. Oh, Will. Yeah, that sucks. It's a bumper. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, there's another siren. Yeah, it's going off again. Oh. It's noisy today. Um. Ambulance actually came down the road that we were just on. 
This is pretty neat. There's a big tree. Big tree, lots of shade. Yeah, very peaceful back here now. Zen and peaceful moment. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, very nice. Looks like there's a small kind of Inari shrine thing over here on the, the left. So there's a lot of Buddhist temples that do have uh, like a small thing for uh, Shinto, usually, not all the time, but sometimes. So this one is definitely Shinto. Um, let me switch hands here. Uh, Sandesh, hello, in, in Nepal, nice. Drizzling sweet rain, that sounds amazing. Yeah, gotta keep it moist. I love that even in Nepal, they're keeping it no uh, moist. Welcome, welcome. So we've got the Tori things here. He was in Deer Hunter, that's right. Um, this old stone marker has some intricate carvings and lots of kanji carved into it, but it's like kind of worn away, so I can't. So that's pretty neat. Ken from Santa Barbara watching. Yeah, how you doing, Ken? Welcome back. Oh man, it is hot. I, I'm, I'm like reaching levels of uh, possible heat exhaustion. It's, uh, it's not feeling good. Ooh, I need to just stay in the shade for a second. Um, whoa, this entire thing is actually cement. That's weird. It's not something that you see often. Oh, sorry, not cement. Okay, I thought it was cement, it's stone. Oh, so it's full stone. Okay. Is it concrete? No, it's definitely concrete. Okay, so I was right the first time. Yeah, it's for sure just straight up molded concrete. But it's interesting. Uh, looks like they tried to carve some things into the side of it. Looks like there's a, a fox and some landscape or something. Take a break and cool yourself down. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just hang tight in the shade for, a, for like a few minutes and stuff. Um, I can feel it. It's taken its toll. Um, yeah. So that's pretty neat, huh? Um, where's this go? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go to some air conditioned. Actually leads up to the local cemetery. So I'm gonna just turn around. But this is beautiful with the wind there's a little breeze right here yeah I just love I love this scene right here there's like the traditional like temple rooftop blue skies green trees yeah really really good yeah don't worry uh, I, kn I know what heat stroke is like or heat you know heat exhaustion is like I've, I've had it before so when I start reaching like to a certain point, I kind of know like, okay, this is, this is dangerous. I gotta, I gotta stop. And yeah, cause I, I used to do like landscaping out in summertime, like in Maryland, it was like super, super humid and hot. And like, you know, sometimes the, my coworkers would have like heat exhaustion and get really sick and vomit and stuff. And um, that happened to me one time. So um, it's not fun. It's definitely not fun. So uh, I'm okay right now, but uh, I'm definitely, definitely taking it easy right now uh i'm just holding my ice cup i'm gonna drink some more in a second here but we're just taking in the scene real quick just looking looking at this you would like to live here i would like to live here too this is very peaceful let me uh let me just like stop talking for like 30 seconds so you guys can just take this in
Yeah, very peaceful, huh? You can hear the birds chirping and stuff. Luckily, no sirens during that like 30 second little spin around. <laughs> You're allowed to enter the shrine if you need a rest. Yeah, that is true, but uh, they actually have it, uh, whatchamacallit, like the, it, there's like the gate thing, it's, it's shut. <laughs> Um, but I'm okay. I'm not like dying or anything like that, so it's okay. Merry Christmas says, I have to tell my mind to stop talking. It's just rambling on with randomness. It's okay. It happens. Yep, take it in. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put more more uh, drinky drink in my cup. Oof. You made our day, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, very peaceful. Tetrisium says, if I want to visit a shrine in my country, Canada, I have to go to British Columbia, Vancouver. Oh, yeah, there's a huge Asian community in, uh, in BC, especially Vancouver. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, let, me, let me go sit over here on these steps real quick. Just kind of sit down and cool down. Yeah. Oh my God, my butt. Okay. Uh, Sherry asks, what kind of snow levels do you get? Uh, so uh, I live in the Tokyo area. Tokyo has very mild winters. Um, yeah, it, it just depends, you know, on like if there's like a storm that comes through or something, but you know, it. Excuse me, like uh, 2020, there really wasn't much snow at all. Then 2021 winter, uh, we had like two, three inches uh, a couple times, um, like less than five times, I think, less than four times. It, it wasn't much, so it's very mild. Yeah, let me um, try to refill my cup. Yeah, I gotta cool down. I gotta uh, use my fan too. I have a fan. But let me get my drink first. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, very, don't do what I'm doing, guys. Walking around for three hours in the blazing hot sun. Stay home, stay home. Yeah, okay. The view reminds you of Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's Chinese. This is Japanese. Are you excited that a uh, Persona is coming to the Xbox and Steam? Oh, I don't have Xbox, um, and I've never played any of the Personas, so I'm not like I'm not a Persona fan, and like that that type of game, I'm not really like a huge fan. Like, like I, I talked about this with Fungus before, <laughs> um, friend and moderator. Like, I, I'm not like so huge on games with like anime-ish characters. Like the the most. Like the, the game that would have the most like anime-ish type of characters that I would be like willing to play, I guess, is like Final Fantasy. But like Genshin or like Persona or like Dangon Rapa or whatever the, that game is called, like the like very anime-ish games. Like I'm I'm just not a fan. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I need a straw hat. That's true. All right, let me uh, pull out my hand fan. It's hot. All right, ooh, that feels good. Yeah, I can't read chat. Would it be cooler if you did it at night? Yeah, probably. Yeah, nighttime is much cooler. But um, I don't really do night streams just because it's not like, yeah, I, I just don't do night streams really. Um, I, I, do, I chill at night. <laughs> like nighttime is like my time. Um, to like hang out, play games, watch movies or whatever, hang out in Discord. Have I played Half-Life 2? No, uh, wait, did I? Yes, long time ago. Long time ago, like when it first came out. Uh, a straw hat and a ship? Wait, are you trying to say like I'm like Luffy from One Piece? <laughs> Am I the Pirate King? Are you using sunglasses to protect your eyes from UV rays? Uh, no, but I, I do want to buy some. Yeah, I used to have sunglasses, you know, pretty nice Oakleys and stuff. Um, but I haven't had them since maybe 2014 or something, 2015. 
Yeah, I think that's like the last time I had some Oakleys. And then after that, I had just like really cheap ones, you know, kind of like gas station level sunglasses. They're like five bucks. Um, yeah, but I do need to like invest in some good ones again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm using my fan, by the way, right now. It's really, really hot. Oh. Can you eat at the monastery? Uh, Devin, that's a very good question. I know some temples and stuff, they offer free meals. Um, I don't know if this one does or not. I don't like, I guess you would have to like contact them and ask, uh, but some do. Yeah, there, there's quite a lot that do offer like free lunch or free dinner. Um, and you know, it's, it's basically like the same food that the monks eat. So it's like, you know, it's vegetarian basically. And uh, you know, there's like, they, they don't eat certain foods like garlic and uh, I forget what else, but uh, maybe onions, I think too. Um, yeah, so it's possible. What's up, Aaron? Uh, to everybody tuning in, you're wondering what's going on. Yeah, sorry about this view. It's, um, I'm sitting down, it's really, really hot. I'm just like, I'm fanning myself with this fan. I'm trying to just cool down because I feel like I'm, I'm like almost at the border of like overheating. It's hot. Have you thought of going to the gym or doing some? Uh, no gym, no, but uh, I, I stopped going to the gym in 2004. That was the last time I ever went to a gym. And I don't want to go to a gym, but uh, I'll work out at home for free. And I love walking and I love swimming in the ocean and stuff like that. Uh, do I collect Sonic plushies? That's a very specific question about plushies. Uh, I do not. I don't collect any plushies whatsoever. Um, I just don't care about plushies. Like I don't have space for them and I don't, it's just something I don't need. You know what I mean? Um, I also have never played any Sonic video games. So I'm not, I've never been a, like a Sonic fan. I never had Sega. I was always like Nintendo and PlayStation. Um, what's up, Christian? How you doing? Fanning like a geisha? I am. I'm doing, I'm doing the little like flutter, like and then being bashful behind it. <laughs> no wind today. Uh, there's a little breeze, but it depends on where you go and kind of, you know, like if you're next to a building or, you know, whatnot. Uh, here, there's a little bit of a breeze that comes and goes, but right now there's not one. Yeah, we're under the tree where the cool people hang out. This is a, it's a pretty big tree. Um, it's pretty big. It's a nice canopy. Yeah, I'm just, uh, let me fan you guys too. It's hot. Yeah, who needs a gym when Corey walks a lot? That's true. Yeah, on S Sundays or my knee days, I usually walk like, um, I don't know, between 5,000 steps on Sunday. And then the very next day, which is today, Monday, um, I walk between, you know, uh, 14,000 to 17 or 18,000 steps during live stream. So we, we definitely do a lot of walking every week. Um, yeah. Walking's good. I like walking. Yo, Troy, what's up? Says, hey, mate, looks like a perfect day. It's cold and windy in Sydney. Ooh, I wish we had that here. It's hot. <laughs> you, Christian, you burned five calories just watching me fan. Yeah, it's a... Uh, got a fan. Do the, do the, the fan trick. I can't really do it because this, this fan is like slightly broken. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do it very well. Not with this fan. Maybe a, a different fan I could do it. Oh. Oof, oof. I just slapped my phone with the fan. Um, one second. I got to drink more. Yeah, sorry, chat. It's just, it's hot. It's really, really hot. I, I might end the stream in like a few minutes here. But I'm just cooling down, talking with y'all. Let, um, let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. Let's create our, our own breeze. Moist fam, yeah. Okay, oof. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's probably take this off for a second. Ah, good product idea, moist fan. They have that, uh, there's, you know, I even saw one too. It's like the USB handheld fan and it has like a water thing inside of it. So like, 
just turning it on, it, it fans you like normally, like a normal circulating fan. And, but then there's like a little trigger and then it'll like shoot mist. It's like a misting fan. Probably need to get that, huh? Moist breeze, yeah. Buying the cooling spray, YouTuber Aki Dearest in Japan sells it there for the summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, uh, oh, so she said that, yeah, okay, yeah, Aki said that, okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to invest in that. You know, what's funny is I, I had this, uh, the cooling towel and I forgot to, uh, to me a lot. Get this wet and then you wrap it around your neck and it cools off your blood. Like, you know, through your uh, jugular or like corduroy artery or whatever it's called. And it just helps you cool your, your inner core temperature. Um, actually, you know what? I think that there's a water spigot over here. Let me go take a look. Let's go take a look, guys. We might be able to just do that. Oh, did I just realized my microphone was facing away from my mouth. Sorry, guys, if you couldn't hear what I was saying. Yeah, let's go look. I think there's a, a spigot. Yeah, because um, cause, uh, the cemetery, they have flowers and stuff, so they use this, uh, this oh, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, they have a, a fa there should be a faucet somewhere. Oh, it's not over here. Uh, is it over here? Oh, it might be over here. families that you know they have a, a a plot here with someone's grave and so they bring flowers and stuff oh god my stabilizer did it again sorry chat i don't i don't know why it does that i think it's because the cable's like yanking down on the phone but yeah there's um there's some water here so yeah okay we'll, we're gonna get some water i need to I need to use that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, whew, we need this so badly. Okay. Okay, get it wet. Nice and wet. Got to get it moist, guys. Moist, moist. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Oh, we should have done this earlier. Ring it out. Okay. And then kind of just shake it. Shake it a little bit so it kind of gets cool. And then wrap it around the neck. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels so great. Oh, my God. <laughs> feels feels fantastic. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, it's hilarious every that time that happens. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it is. I think it's because the the cable. Um, yeah, it pulls down on the phone on one side, so the motor is like, oh, we're off balance, and then it just like gives out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ben Benny with the 10 Singapore dollars. Guys, let's get some hearts in chat. Uh, I can't do it holding this drink. Uh, heart, heart, hearts. <laughs> hearts in chat for Ben Benny. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <sighs> Wipe down your legs and back. Go back and do that with my, my arms. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea, Sandwich. That's a good idea. We're going to have a... This is a hot tub. Not a hot tub, it's like a, a shower stream. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, we really need to do this. Oh, that feels so good. Okay. Get, get my arm all wet there. Ah, nice and cold, nice and cold. Dab my face. Oh, it's all salty and sweaty. Get some on my neck. I'll just like splash my legs a little bit. Ah, oh, that's gonna gonna help. Thanks, Samish. That was a good idea. Very good idea. Very necessary. Ah. Oh. 
It's a hot one, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I got my forehead too. I, I, I kind of wiped my face just now. Okay, dump up the whole bucket over my head. Ah, that's a bad idea. But yeah, these are the buckets for the families and stuff. Water the flowers and clean the, the tombstones of your family's, uh, you know, deceased ancestor or family member or whatever. Gonna get the flip-flop V suntan? I think so, yeah. It's, it's already kind of happening a little bit. Foot. Give me all the bunnies. Um, all right, let me, uh, let me venture out here. Oh, mm. oh, there's such a nice breeze right here. They should have a bench like right here. That would be nice. Oh. All right, let's, um, Let's, uh, I think I'll just like chat it up with you guys somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where though. <laughs> Let's look around. Yeah, I just want to chat it up with you guys for another, we got like nine minutes, so I figured I'd just like chat it up with you. Fungus with the $10 says Corey's only fan foot reveal. <laughs> thank you, man. No, you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Guys, hearts in chat for Fungus. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, that's funny. That's super funny. Um, okay, uh, there's a nice breeze coming down this street, so I think I'm going to stick to this street. Uh, oh, what car is this? It's an Alteza. I haven't seen an Alteza in a long time. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're kind of in some like residential just back streets here You're gonna be sick. Oh, no, <laughs> don't be sick Anything back here? Hmm, where's this go? Yeah, we're just kind of exploring what's back here. I feel a little bit better once I cool down and uh, Splash some water and stuff. Yeah, I feel a little bit better What's my favorite type of car? Um, I like SUVs. They're just very, com the ride is very comfortable and they're just very big. You can like put all kinds of stuff in it, furniture and whatever. You don't have to worry about like, oh, I need to get a, a bigger vehicle to carry this like mattress or whatever, you know? It's just like very convenient, um, even though sometimes they're not like so gas, like fuel efficient. But um, yeah, I, I do like SUVs. The Japanese cars different to USA cars? Yeah, there's uh, there's different emission standards and stuff that you have to uh, meet in order to be street legal. And there's a lot of different things, you know, the steering wheels on the other side, because in Japan, people drive on the left side of the road. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of different things, but you know, not sometimes not a lot of different things. It just depends on the car. Have you ever ridden a Lamborghini? That's the most random question I've ever heard, but no. Um, I have never been in a Lamborghini. I've seen many Lamborghinis. I've built a Lamborghini model car when I was like a kid, but I've never been inside of one. Uh, Tetrisium says that's what I have, an SUV. Yeah, they're very handy. Like, it, like I drove an SUV in the States. Like they're just very useful. I don't know if I would drive an SUV here though. Maybe, I don't know, it depends. Like I would only use it for like trips outside of Tokyo. Just like in Tokyo, I would just take the train. Yo, Toshindo, long time no see. Oisashiburi. Rolls Royce? I've never been in a Rolls Royce. Um, let, me, let me just tell you what car I have been in. That's like cool, I guess. Uh, um, hmm. Uh, I've been in a Skyline R34 before. I've been in an R30 and an R31 as well back in the day. I actually learned to drive stick 
uh, manual transmission in an R30 back long time ago. My friend had an R30. And he taught me how to do manual transmission. Oh God, my, my wet rag around my neck's about to fly off. One second. Uh, is there a child screaming? Okay. All right, there we go. You need an SUV because of uh, my long legs? Yeah, I've, I have really long legs, so I think that's probably another reason why I really like uh, SUVs. There's just a lot of leg room. And you get like a, like a higher ride, you know, you're kind of high up, you get to look, you have a better view of the road and stuff, I think. You can see your blind spots easier. I don't know, just overall, I like, I like kind of those bigger vehicles. I drove a van for a very long time, a Chrysler town and country. Um, that was really fun. That was a, that was a, a great vehicle. Very strong. So yeah, we're back, uh, at the Kanda River again. We're crossing over it going south this time. It's kind of muddy looking. A little, you can see the bottom very clearly, but it's just brown colored, so it looks very unappealing. Um, let me go walk over here in the shade. Yeah, I'll just take a take a little stroll over here. Uh, what is all this? Oh, this is like a weather station thing. Why are most vehicles in Japan parked backwards? Um, I don't know. I think it's just like a cultural thing. Like everybody just started doing it. So everyone else does it too. But I think it's also, you know, like for emergencies, whatever, you can just like get in your car and leave really quickly. But why? Why did it start? I have no idea. Um, yeah, this is a weather kind of a thing here. Alawai canal colors. Yeah, it's pretty funky looking down there. It's nice. Ooh. Marielle, how you doing? What? Gomez, they put back in because... Oh, okay. Sorry, that was a different conversation. Uh, we got some pigeons. Hato, 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 hato san. Wow, you did, I thought you were going to fly away. Hi. <laughs> Finally flew away. I was going to say, how long does it take for this bird to like actually fly away? Uh, all right, Razi, have a good one. Rat with wings. Is he going for it? I don't know, but yeah, look, look at it. It's just like brown, brown. At least it's clear. You can see the bottom. I know you said you're a Final Fantasy fan, but did you get a PS5? No, I didn't. I don't have a TV. So I'll just wait for like Final Fantasy 16 to come out on PC. I can wait. My goal is to play all of the Final Fantasies again, um, except for seven for the first time. So I don't want to play it again this year. But um, I just beat Final Fantasy one the other day in like 30 years or something. Like I played it back in the day on Nintendo. So I'm going to go through that I've never played in my life uh, are eight. 9, 11, and 15. So I know 11's online, so I guess that one kind of doesn't count. So I don't have any plans to play 11. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cur I currently just started a, a Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I'll be playing that too. So yeah, going through. I'm a PC gamer through and through, so everything is on PC. Feed them? I don't have anything. I have these nuts. I don't think they like nuts though. Uh, where's this go? Too hot to fly. Yeah, it seems like they were kind of chilling. Eight and nine were the best. Seven thought was too easy. Yeah, I heard a lot of people, from a lot of people, um, eight is actually really, really good. Like it's one of their favorites. So I'm always like, oh man, really? 
Eight's good. My favorites were always five and six. Definitely six, but uh, five was really good too. Um, ten is a classic. Ten, you know, X, X2. Thirteen was okay, kind of very linear and boring, but... Um, okay, I'm gonna walk in the shade over here. I see some old stuff over there. We'll go look at it like just briefly and then we'll probably wrap up the stream, okay guys? You're welcome, Margaret. <laughs> Got him. Yes. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Did you guys have a good stream? A lot of you guys have been here the entire time, and I'm so sorry that it there wasn't that much like alley exploration. But there was definitely just like that one road, the Nakasendo Road, like all the way from Sugamo to Itabashi. Um, it was pretty interesting, I think. Um, it's a little bit different from my usual streams, you know? Usually we're just like lost in the alleys and stuff. That one, we're just on one road. Six and nine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the ones I haven't played. Eight, nine, 15. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. There's an old Sprite sign, an old Coca-Cola sign. It's all faded. That's pretty neat. Leisure Suit Larry. I used to stream, stream that on Twitch. My name is Larry. Leisure Suit Larry. Oh my. I want to keep it moist. Yeah, that guy was such a horn dog. Yeah, waiting for the green light to uh, cross over there. Uh, here we go. There's really no cars here. Can I just go? I'm gonna go. Yeah, no cars coming. Eight's your favorite in general? Nice. Next time we go to Costco. I don't have a Costco membership. Um, you know, I live by myself, so I don't need to like buy like massive amounts of things in bulk. Plus I have no car to carry it back home. So yeah, no, no reason for me to have a Costco membership. Although I do miss Costco pizza and and uh, hot dogs. Yeah, what is it? There's kind of some of these old shops here. I love this old retro kind of barber shop sign. It's covered in pigeon poop, it looks like, but. Larry is the tackiest game. Yeah, it knows it's tacky. That's the thing. That's why it's so funny, because it's poking fun at, at itself for being so cheesy. King's Quest is great. I want, I want to get the whole bundle to play all the old, original ones. I played those back in the day. Um, yeah, the, the more recent one, the King's Qu Quest collection or whatever, the, the one that, the new one, you know? Um, I played that one back in like 2019, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know I was supposed to end it, but I keep going and I'm like, what's down here? What's this? Uh, it's a little produce store. All right, let me, uh, let me just turn the camera around and talk to you guys down this little street here. Uh, one second, I gotta put my, my drink in my bag. All right. Okay, there we go. It's hot. It's hot. Uh, thank God for this thing being a little bit wet, a little bit moist to help cool me down. It is hot, guys. It is blazing hot. Do not what do not do what I'm doing. <laughs> do not be out here. Um, that feels weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Well. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, we've we've been streaming for three hours. I didn't realize that the phone would survive in this heat, but it looks like it did. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that hung out with me during today's stream. It was a, it was a very interesting one and a very hot one. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go find somewhere to cool down. And then I'm going to go find some AC and uh, maybe eat some cold noodles or something like that. I need, I need some cold, cold stuff in my belly. Oh, this thing's flying away. It's a little bit windy right here. 
But uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys uh, have a, a great week. I hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your Sunday evening. Have a great week and yeah, keep it moist. Um, thank you for all the questions, um, all the comments and stuff like that. Thanks for keeping me company while walking around out here. Yeah, you guys stay safe, stay cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, uh, subscribe to it. This thing's about to fly off. I gotta, I gotta do this differently. I just slap myself in the face like, like that. Um, whew, it's hot. But anyways, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, thank you to all the donations. Again, once, uh, once again, you guys really, really help me uh, to keep going. You guys uh, help support me so much so I can be able to show you guys Japan every week. So um, yeah, stay tuned um, for more information about the next uh, either premiere or stream. I don't know. I'll try to film a video this week, but I can't promise you. If I, if I don't, I'll try to stream. So <laughs> you enjoyed my suffering. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Air out the hat too. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. But um, there's a 7-Eleven behind me, so I'm going to actually go in there after this and, uh, and cool down. But uh, if, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm Corey, C-O-R-Y, right now. It'll pop up a link um, by Nightbot, and it'll show you like my social media, plus a Discord invite link. So if you guys want to come over and uh, if you're over 18 and you want to hang out in my Discord, chat, share pictures and stuff like that, um, you do have to read the rules and at the bottom of the rules there's a green check mark that says you acknowledge the rules. That's the only way to enter my, my Discord. If you don't do that, you can't see my Discord. Like you can't see the chats, you can't see pictures, nothing. Um, <laughs> stop being moist. No, I, you got to always keep it moist. You got to keep it moist, otherwise things can't go in the hole. It's got to be nice and moist. Um, yeah, thank you, Fungus, for that. Appreciate that. 7-Eleven um, is the way. It is. This is the way. So, yeah. Take care, guys. Moist fam. Love you guys. Love you, love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in Discord. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Later. See you next time. Have a great week. Bye. Bye-bye. Aloha. Aloha. Laters. Bye. See you. 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 For real. See you.